The corn down? Corn down? I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, corn I can't. Down. Corn, corn down? Corn? Corn down, yeah, corn down. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, Hi, um, I'm up on the second floor. Um, I have a complaint about the the sound. Yes. Um, it's there's there's no sound up here at all. It is way too quiet. Yeah. Um. So, uh, like in terms of sound, what do you mean? Like the the TV or? Well, no. There's no. I don't hear anybody else at all. Everyone else is being really quiet. They're not making any yeah. noise at all. I can't hear anybody. It's freaking me out. I'm sorry. I, I, people haven't checked in yet, so. So they're not. I'm all alone up here. Yes. That's fucked up. Uh, which room are you in? Well, I don't want to tell you. For my own safety, you know, because I'm all alone up here. Okay. Uh, but uh, if I if I don't know the room number, there's no way I can help you. Well, just is there a way to make? Because I have my. I'm doing my part. I have my TV on, so I'm not the problem here. But everyone, if there's anyone else on the second floor, they're they're not making any noise at all. Yeah, but I mean, it's up to them if they want to make noise or not. Well, they should make... I just mean I should be able to hear them, you know, like living there or moving around. Or, I should be able to hear them a little bit, don't you think? Yeah, probably. Well, I can't. Yeah. Maybe you can come sit downstairs for a while. Well, I'll be, able to, I'll be able to hear someone down there? Yes. Okay. That's a pretty good solution. Okay. Are you, you're, good at, you're good at stuff like that? Like what? Like coming up with solutions to problems and stuff? Probably. Okay. Um, thank you, I guess. I don't know. That was weird. That didn't work so great. But that starts the show. We're starting the show now. The show has started. I'm going to have to try that again. <coughs> Welcome to the show. We're here. Yeah, that didn't do work. it again. That didn't work at all. Yeah, that didn't work at all. <coughs> Woo! Oh. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm good at you. Well, I have a problem on the second floor. Yes, how uh, may I help you? It's too quiet up here. Okay, you just called me before. No, I called you on a different number. Why do you have two different numbers? Uh, we only have one number. No, that's not true. Okay, can you tell me which room you are in, please? Wait, maybe I did just call you. Maybe I did just call him twice. I think I did. I think that's the same guy. I am fucking up all over the place. All right, well, that, ca- that counts. No, no, that counts. That counts. I tried again. <laughs> Check that count. <laughs> you do something. Okay, I'm out of control. <laughs> Rockwood Bridge. Hi. Um, it's really quiet. Like, all around the rooms right now. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, it's it's just really quiet. Like I don't hear any. I don't hear anybody. Like, is that a bad thing or? It's well. I mean, sometimes you hear like a little something here, or something there. Maybe uh, I I don't know a car or so, it's just some kind of noise. It's something. It's no, really it, quiet. It, it, it's a it, you know. Um, there's just times where it's really really quiet. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, for this long. It's been like that most of the day. And I mean, we did, and, and we did room checks today too. Well, I didn't hear that either. Yeah, and we were we, were, we knocked on the doors and we're yelling room check at every door, oh. every door to do room checks. Yeah. No, I didn't hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We open the, the doors too. Oh. You know, if we don't hear, if, we, if people are not answering, you know, we, uh, you know, we went ahead and still uh, open and checked. You know, to, you uh, make a A couple of people that were sleeping though, and we, you know, we just. Check the room real quick and just, you know, you woke them up. And that's it. You woke them up? No, we didn't wake them up. We don't wake them up. Oh, but you wouldn't. Oh, okay. So you went in the we room, but the, you didn't. We open the door because we need to, You know, when we don't hear people answer, then well, you wouldn't all, put then like safety rooms issue, You know what I'm saying? Like we'll go in there and check and make sure that the person is, you know, not not, you know, make sure that they're like, you know, not pa- passed out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, but you're watching them sleep though. No, we're not watching him sleep. We're just checking well, you, for the room. 
making sure they're okay. Make quick peek. We're not <laughs> we're not standing there just watching you breathe. You know what I'm saying? We just go in there, quick peek, boom, out. Is that why? I mean, I I didn't I don't remember hearing you. Were, like, did you were you watching me sleep? That's weird. No, we weren't watching you sleep. Well, you we didn't wake me that. up. But you were in my room, but you didn't wake me up. But well, we knocked hard, and we I mean, we were yelling. We yelled at each door. Room check, boom, 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 room check. We do that like three times, and after that, then we go in. We say, staff, coming in. How long we were you watching? We weren't watching, and it was only literally like one or one or two minutes. It's just like a, like a minute, one or two minutes. It's really quick. For two just minutes? Make sure room is clean. You know, there's nothing in the room that shouldn't be there. You were watching me for have, two minutes? We don't smell anything that shouldn't be, you know, like candles on or anything, like you know, stuff like that, and... And that's it. It's, it's, it's You're quick. checking it's me boom, for boom, candles? You went through my stuff and looked for candles? No. What do you mean? Like, like smell, like some people, like some people you can, you know, they'll have like a candle out in the open. You know what I'm saying? You're like, smelling my bags. Okay, you're you're completely taking this somewhere else. Okay, you want to come well, down here you, and talk to me about it? Let's talk about well, it. But you're you're going left field with it. It's nothing time. like it's nothing you, like what you're trying to say or whatnot. And I, I don't. You, you know told me two you minutes. Go that route. That's that's on you. But well, it is I, I nothing could like that. Okay, I, mean, a, I could go. Well, I mean, for two minutes. We're told about two minutes. But we did when when you did your intake, so you know about it. So well, I, I didn't expect you to check my pocket for two minutes when I'm sleeping. What you're getting at, but it's none of that. Well, you told me you didn't. I didn't, you said you were in there for two minutes, looking around or whatever for candles. I've never heard of someone looking oh, for Mark, candles. Okay. You're, you're taking it left field. I already explained it to you what it is, and you're going somewhere. You else said with this. It. You said it for like two minutes. You're in there. I, I mean, if you weren't watching, not, then you're I'm looking look, for I'm something. I'm not timing it. You know what I'm saying? We were in there. It's like like a like a minute and twenty seconds, even or less, or whatever. Whatever. Like if we're not. We're not. We don't. We don't want to be there to watch you. We don't. We don't want to do none of that. We want to get our job done, in and out. We're not in there to watch you sleep. We're not going through your stuff. We're not well, doing none okay. of that. That's so why we go 20. in there with two staff members. There's and stuff. I mean, you're 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 going somewhere else with it, and it's not. Go, that's not no, I didn't go anywhere. You went into my room. You went for at least a minute, twenty to two minutes, and you're checking pockets for candles. You said all that. I didn't all say right, any. I'm going to let you go because you are taking you it said left that. field. We'll talk later. But, Thank you. Bye. You said all of that. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it was me or you, but that, I, no, I'm, I can't, I'm laughing quite a bit at that. That was, I, that was very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Peak, did he really say peak boom out? It's not like we're, it's not like we're watching you <laughs> sleep, it's just peak boom out. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, oh, you know, one or two minutes. <laughs> Some people, what was the other thing he said? Some people leave, well, some people leave candles out in the open. <laughs> why, fucking why, idiots, why wouldn't they hide them? <laughs> oh, oh, sir, sometimes great. they smell. You're a smell. <laughs> he peeks in rooms to smell and look for candles. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that was good. Good work. Good work. You should call him back and say, hey, I, my friend heard a, <laughs> my friend heard you smell and look for candles. Norma, how may I help you? Norma, it's way too quiet. Fuck, man. She was really quiet. Henderson, super eight. Hey, um, it is way too quiet. What's going Can on? Can I help you? Yeah, no, I, I, hi, is this the front desk? Yeah. Okay, it, I'm checked in here, and it, it's like... I have normally quiet. Like it's nothing's kind of, going on. I've been complaining, but it's too quiet. I don't think. I think that's a good thing. Well, no, it's like freaking me out though. Normally, like there's other people here. I should be able to hear them, like just living, you know, like making normal like living sounds. But I can't. I'm not hearing shit. I'm not hearing shit from anyone. Well, I don't know what to tell you. There's people in the building. Just you're just not hearing anything. Okay, don't you think at least one of them? Because I was walking. I walked the halls. I don't. I don't hear anything. It's freaky. You ha- there are people checked in though. There are people here. Yes. I can't even hear some a TV. Some people are at work. I, I, haven't heard, home after I work. haven't even heard a TV one time. Not even one time have I even heard a TV. Well, I don't know what to tell you then, sir, if it's... What do, you, what, what do you want me to do? Should I start knocking on doors and telling them, hey, would you mind making like a normal amount of noise? It's freaking me out? Yeah, yeah you go ahead and do that. Am I, am I allowed? Whoa, 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 I'll call the sheriff. Why would you call the cops on me? Huh? Well, if you call the cops, I'm because calling... Because you're being irrational right now. Okay, let me, let me step it back. I'm sorry. I'm, which... Because the way that I'm seeing it, it all tracks. So why don't you uh, point me to the flaw in my logic? Huh? 
Well, you're complaining it's too quiet. Correct. It's, it's weird. No one complains when it's too quiet. People complain it's too loud. So what's wrong with the picture here? Nothing's wrong with the picture here. It's a valid complaint. Then why are you complaining about it? Because it's, it's weird. It's like... <sighs> okay, then, it's, then you have nothing to worry about because there's people in the building. Well, then why? Then that's even it'd be, okay. If you told me that no one else was here, if I was the only one checked in, I'd just be. I could be lonely, you know. But I wouldn't. I'd understand. But, well, uh, if you don't like it, you could check out. Well, let's, I don't want to check out. Like I got all my shit set up then, the way, the, like right the way I then, want it. Then, then stop complaining about it. Well, okay. I, that's what I'm. If if can we can we maybe is there a way to let people like to have them turn on the TV at least? No, because you're, what you're asking right now is irrational. Why is that irrational? I want to hear a little bit of noise. It is because because people. Mind their own business in this building. Okay. Like, it, it, like, they pay, like people do in public. Well, they're doing so a, like, if they're you don't like it, then you can find somewhere else to, to, to stay. Well, I don't know what to tell okay. you, sir. I, I appreciate it, but they're minding their business too well. Like, well okay. is there how a way, about this? Is there a way to call room nope, to room? I'm not going to. Nope. nope I'm, what room are you in? Well, no, I'm not the problem. I have my TV on. I'm, no, I'm, what room are you in? Let I me have, know. Let me know. No, well, no, I don't. I'm, have, I'm, make, I'm, I'm making this call. I'm talking. I, I, I make noise all the time. I, uh, well, who gives a shit if you make noise or not? No one's no one's bothering you, so why are you, why are you bothering me? I, well, I'm not the problem. I'm saying I'm. I'm no, not you the are pro- the problem now. You are. You're making yourself the problem. How am I the problem? In this are, you, are you even listening to yourself? Listen yeah. to yourself. Okay. What? No one's making noise, and it's upsetting you. Correct. It's not upsetting me. It's weirding me out, and then that's upsetting me. Well, it's it's making it's it's not making you feel good. And, yeah, no an- anxiety. No yeah, anxiety. You. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry about it because no one, no one, no one cares. If it's, sir, if it was only that easy, um, can we actually can we solve the underlying issue though? Instead of just just throwing platitudes at me? No, you could. No, how about this? Just you check out and you make it easy on everybody else in the building. Well, what if I start banging they're, around? They're, they're minding their own business. They're not bothering you. What if I start banging around and, and smacking stuff together and stuff? I'm gonna I'm gonna start calling the cops and then you're gonna you'll I'll be call the out. sheriff. I'll, I'll call the sheriff. Then I said, go go ahead, call the sheriff. I will, but only if you call the go, cops. Go ahead, call him. No, huh? I'll call. I'll, I'll call him right now for you. No, you can. What room are you in? Well, no. Which are you? Call, are you going to call the cops or the sheriff? Because I'm going to call the opposite of whatever you call. Well, it's the same shit. It's still law enforcement. Correct. Yeah, but they they uh they like battle they like battle against each other like uh like. A no, pop- shut the fuck up. Don't call me no more. Oh no. <laughs> this this is really firing people up. <laughs> They're not used to this as a complaint. I like how he broke it down. So it's irrational because normally people like it. When it's quiet and they don't call and complain, they call and complain when it's loud. This is the opposite of that. <laughs> I almost like I thought he was gonna say you're just not allowed to complain about that. That's just off the table. You can't do it. Thank you for calling us, Western Eagle. How can I help you? Hi. Right, um. It. I don't. Okay. It's like really quiet here right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, really quiet. Like, I don't hear any, like, like other people noises or, or anything. What do you mean? I don't hear anything. Like, I, it's been really quiet for some time now. Quiet. Like, re- like, really quiet. Like, I can't hear, like, people walking around. I can't hear, like, other uh, doors slamming or, quote, n- nothing, none of that. Okay. Um, what do you need? No, it's exactly. really quiet. It's really quiet right now, and I'm I'm kind of well. I'm kind of worried about it. About the quiet? I mean, there's nothing like wrong really, with that. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know what like you're nobody, talking about, sir. Okay, I, um, what like what do you want me to? Um, it's it, people aren't making any noise. Like I make noise when I walk around and do things, and I'm, like just like regular like living living noises. So you want people to be making noise? Well, I mean, you know, nobody's completely silent, just walking around and doing normal things. Like, that's expected. That's normal. I'm just going to hang up on the <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, dude, people, uh, front desk do not like this complaint. They don't know how to handle it. They've never heard this before. <laughs> I think you could hear, like, the brain, like... <laughs> Thank you for calling Winged and Eagle. How can I help you? Hey, it's quiet. Hello? It's quiet. Quiet? Yeah, it's real quiet. What do you mean? Like, I can't hear anything. Are there other guests checked in, or is it just me? You cannot hear me on the phone? Oh, no, I can hear you fine now, but before I got on the phone, it's like dead silence here. It's like, I, 
I don't hear anybody. I don't hear any doors opening. I don't. I don't hear any cars. I don't hear nothing. It's quiet. What's going? So where on? are you right? I'm in the room. I'm in. Are you at the front desk? Yes. What the hell's going on? What do you mean? What's going on? Why is it so quiet here? Is that a problem? Yeah, it's a problem. What room number are you in? Well, no, I got the TV on. I'm not. I'm making a little bit of noise. You know, I I have the TV on almost all the time. I'm doing my part. He didn't like Mr. Mr. No Nonsense. Yeah. Thanks for calling Green Tree Suites. How may I help you? Hi. Um, yeah, I have kind of a weird thing, I guess. Uh, it's like it's just it's just been really quiet here, and I was just kind of wondering if everything was okay. Where? Here. In- like it's been. I haven't heard any noise. Like from. Oh, you know, I just I haven't heard anything. It gets really quiet. From the hotel? Yeah. Like, like, you know you know how people kind of, you know, just normal amounts of noise, walking around, doing things with doors and... Oh, um, yeah, that'll happen later on. It's still kind of early. Well, I mean, it's been a long time and I haven't heard anything. Um, yeah, we don't get done, like, a lot of noise until, like, six, seven... Oh, no, but I mean just like people that are like in the building, you know, with doors and yeah, walking and stuff. I mean, I, I make noise, okay. you know. Yeah. Why well, make noise? No. But yeah, no, everything's okay. I mean, I'm making some noise though. Like I move around and I put something down and I pick it up again. And I mean, I'm making noise and I do that. Am I, am I disturbing somebody? I, I can't hear no. anybody. No, probably the rooms around you are empty. No, I mean like any like even far away noises or anything. Like I, I there's like it's completely silent. And it's been completely silent for some time. Well, yeah. I don't know. We have our housekeepers out there cleaning this. I haven't heard any of that. No. No. Yeah, like just no noise, n- none. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, cuz they're out there cleaning. We have people coming in and out of the building. Like, with, like, are they, do they have, like, earmuffs on or something? Because I can't hear them. No. What? Okay, then, I mean, if, if everything's okay, I mean, am I, am I allowed yeah, to keep, every- to keep doing what I'm doing then? I mean, I, yeah, you can keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, everything's okay. Do I have to match the same level as everybody else? I mean, everyone's really quiet here. No. No, everything seems to be fine. Well, <laughs> You guys, will you tell me if I make too much noise? Yeah, I'll let you know. Okay, well, I don't know. I, I don't know how this works. It's really quiet. It's freaking me out. Oh, yeah, I totally get it. You know, yeah. No, yeah, everything's fine. I don't know if you guys, if someone was up to something and just not telling me and just, you know, no, keep it. No, Everything's okay. You could keep making, you could keep doing what you're doing. You're not what disturbing people, anybody. What if they're tiptoeing? Like, Outside my door. Oh. Like, just real quiet. Like, the tiptoe, you know? Yeah, right now we don't have a lot of people in the building. Maybe that's why. Yeah. It's just really quiet. I don't, yeah. see, I don't hear the housekeepers. I don't hear the building noises. I don't hear, like, you know, like building noises. No. Like crunches and creaks and groans and cracks and just, like, the regular, you know? Just regular stuff. Oh, yeah. I haven't heard any of that either. I don't think you understand how quiet it really is. No, you, we're just really quiet. Yeah, I don't think you'll start hearing anything until later on. Just that but then right I will now, hear. I will hear somebody at some yeah, point. Yeah, we'll be hearing somebody at some point. Yeah. Like around 6, 7, you should be hearing more noises. If I don't hear any noises by 6, 7, do you want me to call you back? You could call back if you want. Okay, I just wasn't sure. Okay, I'll call back if it's still quiet then. All right. If I hear other people, do you want me to call? No, you should be. You should be okay. Okay, I'll call if there's if it's real quiet though. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. She was way too nice. Yep. A little bit too nice. 
Thank you for calling the Base Camp Hotel in Boulder. This is Bull speaking. How may I help you? Bull, um, do you have, uh, this is the front desk you said? It is, yes. Okay. Um, do you have anything that I could uh, cover my door with? Cover your door? Yeah, to my room. Co- cover it? How do you mean? What? Just anything to cover. I just don't want anyone else to see it. See your your door? Yeah, yeah. No, I'd like just like I don't know. I don't if you have like a sheet or a cloth or something. Um, anything I can use to cover up the door. I don't want anyone to because if they can see it, then they'll know that I'm in here, and then that's like a first level of security. I can look for you. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but sure. <laughs> well, what do you like? What do you think? You what do you have? You don't have like a door. You, I mean, I guess I can get you don't you have, an like, ex- a door ex- cover. Do you? No, no, I've never even heard of a door cover. That's odd. I do apologize. I, I, yeah, that's, that's, that's an absolutely new piece of technology to me. Hmm. Oh, you must be new, though, huh? No, I've been here for well over a year. Okay. Yeah, no, that's not that long. I mean, it's a little bit more of an old school thing, but most, uh, most places still have them. Yeah, no, we... Uh, is it just, just like to cover the people? or No, no, to cover the door so that people can't tell whether or not it's there or not. So, like, it's for privacy, whether or not the, private, privacy and security. People can't tell whether or not the door is there? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very no, 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 that's yeah. correct. Yeah, because if they can see the door, then that's, like, the first line of defense, and then that's been breached. And as soon as they even see it, then they know, and then they'll know. But if they can't even see the door, then they won't, they won't know what's going on. And then I think that way, um, it usually, that's, I think that's why most people do it. Some people do it just for the privacy of it also. If you don't want to, if like, cause some people just don't, you know, honestly, some people just don't want anyone to look at their door. Yeah. Fair enough. I, I mean, I have, I have, I have just have like bed sheets. That's the, that's probably the best thing I can think of. Oh, and how do you hang those then? I, I would not know. <laughs> um, honestly, I've, I, yeah, I've never, I've never had this request before and I'm not entirely sure we have anything in particular made for that i can i can absolutely text my manager and see if she has any ideas oh yeah no you guys might have uh you might have like door covers in the back or something sure i'll i'll, I'll check in with her and see what she says okay and then set what you what are you gonna do you're gonna send it up uh yeah yeah sure uh what, what was the room number well no i'm i'm no i don't want to i don't want to give that out. i'm trying to cover um i'm trying to cover the door that's like the opposite i don't want to give you the room number well, oh <laughs> okay how would how would you like to get it then um, can you put, if, if you, if you have them, can you put two of them on the elevator? Like one for now and one for later? The elevator? Yeah. Are you, are you calling the correct hotel? We don't have an elevator. Oh, I have no idea. Do you know? We, what, we don't have an elevator. Yeah. So I'm. Oh, do you know what, me, the do, you know what me, do you know what mescaline is? Yes. Yeah. That's involved. Fair enough. <laughs> so thank you then. Then whatever, can you put them in whatever I think that the elevator is? I will try. I have no idea what you're talking about, though. We're we're like a two story building with only stairs. Well, then I have no fucking clue how I got up here in my room. So that's that's weird. I because I thought I took an elevator. I I don't know. Maybe someone carried me or something. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Ugh. Fair enough. Let me let me ascertain whether or not we have these things first. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. All right. I love you. Yep. That'd Bye. Be, be, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> a mescaline trip is a good excuse for thinking that there's an elevator when there isn't one. Yeah. Any amount. Yeah, I learned it from watching you, Snappy. Remember, oh, yeah. remember, like that commercial for weed. Yeah. I learned it from watching you, Dad. Hi, thank you for calling Courtyard Boulder. This is Kyle speaking. I'm gonna help you. Hi, Kyle. Um, do you guys have anything to like cover up a door? Cover up a door? Yeah. Um. In sorry. In what like manner? Like just so you can't see it. Oh. Um. I mean, even like a bed sheet would probably work, but I, you know, like if, like if you're walking, and you wouldn't see it. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Um. Or at least notice it. I, you just wouldn't know that there. I mean, you'd probably see a bed sheet there, but you wouldn't be able to see the door underneath it. Gotcha. Wait, sorry. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kind of confused as to like just the door, like the, like the main like the door, walk, or for walking in and out. Oh, yeah, I just don't want anybody oh. to see it. Okay, you just don't want to see the, the door. I mean, yeah, I can get you like a bed sheet to your room if you'd like, or just like an extra one if you wanna well, just, well, want to. Just I don't. Yeah. Um. Do you have something to hang it up there? 
Um, like thumbtacks or something? I mean, I don't... What do you... Sticky tack? Uh, I think... Maybe some tape. I think tape's like the only thing I have. Um, tape? As long as it stays. Like, the tape sure. will work. It's fine, yeah. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can, like, find some, like, duct tape. Because all I have at the desk right now is just, like, scotch tape. So I don't How, think that oh. will really hold the uh, bed sheet up. Yeah. Um, but I How can much go tape can I around. use? Uh, well, if I find some duct tape, it should be, like, a lot easier. And I could just give you, like, that the roll work. and then just use the Yeah, roll. but uh, I would have to look around. Well, like, not use the whole roll, but, like... Most of it. Uh, yeah. Um, so which door I mean, are you trying to cover? I'm just confused as to... On the outside. On the outside. Like the sliding glass door? Well, no, I mean, you don't normally walk in and out of that one. Like, you know, you can. You can. You know, in fact, it probably would be a good door to cover up, now that you mention it. I'm just confused as to what you're trying to cover up. I'm going to need another bed sheet, I think. Okay, but I'm just trying to just figure out what, uh, like, door you're trying to cover up or, like, what's... what's well, definitely like, that door now. Problem. Yeah, I definitely want that covered up now. Now that, I, now that you mention it and I'm thinking about it, I think I want that door covered up as well. Are there any other... Okay. What other... Um, are there other ones? Well, I just, need which, to what you're, I, just, I just need to, like, what... Which one should I cover? Cool. I'm, I'm kind of confused as to what you're, like, why you're trying to cover. The hide them. The conceal. Because the, you can't see it. It's, you know, you just keep looking. You keep, keep walking. Nobody knows it's there. You don't notice it. It's out of sight, out of mind. Um, yeah, for... for Most like, people the won't even room? see it. Like on the inside or the outside, or like towards the hallway. Yes. Well, yeah, the hall. Yeah, the hallway was my original intent. However, you mentioned that that big glass door, and I think that's a good idea too. Okay, I just need to make sure because I just don't know whether we are allowed to either, just because of fire hazards and things like that. Well, it's um, just a bed sheet. Yeah, but it's still like something considered blocking the door. Ah, uh, the tape. Um. Which one do I yeah, have to keep, fine. like, you know, like, which one, which one can I cover up? Um, I'm not quite, because, like, our sliding glass doors, like, we have the thick curtains, so, like, you can't see through the sliding glass doors. But the curtains are inside. Yes, the curtains are inside. You can still see the door on the outside. Yes. I don't think we can cover them up from the outside. But, no, that's what the bed sheet's for. And you get the tape. I mean, with the tape and the yeah, bed that's sheet. Yeah, I'm not like I can't. Well, curtains. I mean, curtains. Well, cur You know, if I covered up the door with the curtains, I mean, that's not a fire hazard. And I'm just putting the curtains on the outside via bed sheet. Yeah, but the fact with taping it around the door makes it so like you can't open. You put know me what a I'm curtain saying? rod. I'll put some curtains on the outside. I just don't have any curtains. If you have extra curtains, I mean. I, you, the bed sheet was the thing you suggested. I don't whatever whatever you want to well, use. But I'm just like I just wasn't quite sure what you were trying to do. Just I just don't understand why you need to cover them. To hide it. Like, and, now like, curtains would be fine. Well, yeah, to conceal it. The curtains would be fine. I mean, it's you know I, I'm just going with bed sheets because that's the one you brought up first, and that that really seems the easiest to me right now. No yeah, I'm just, putting I'm just curtains on the outside. Sure. It's going to be a lot of work. Yeah, which is why I don't believe we need to put curtains on the outside of the door. All right, bed sheet. Got it. Yeah, I'm just, well, I'm just also just concerning, like, I'm, I can't just give you bed sheets to just hang up outside of the door. You just said, wait a minute, you said. Well, because I thought, said, like, I wasn't understanding what you were saying at first, but I can't just you have got the tape. bed sheets just hang down I need that hallway. tape still. Yeah, but the tape is to hang the bed sheets over the doors, which I can't have you do. Wait, no, you just said to use the bed sheet, because you didn't have any curtains. Well, I was just confused as to what you were saying. I just didn't understand No, you said, no, 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 no. You said to use the bed sheet. Well, I just I'll put up curtains. Sure. If you give me curtains, I'll put them up. I, I know how to use drills and uh, screwdrivers and stuff. I, I can't have you drilling into our hotel either. Well, then I'll use the tape. I'll tape the curtains. Bring me the curtains, I'll use the tape. Um, but I, I, as I said before, I can't just have you hanging things up outside of our hotel. 
But on the inside, what about yeah, that's fine. I mean, I got curtains in here. I mean, the inside door also does not work. I can't have you blocking any doors as well. But I'm I'm gonna close the curtains. That's blocking it up, right? Like that's blocking it up with curtains. Yeah, but it's just a matter of like with the tape and taping around the door. I can't have you doing that. I got curtains with like like frame, like a metal, like a frame. I've got frame around the door. And I'm like I'm gonna draw them shut with string. So, but I'm just confused as to why the current curtains that are in the room do not work. No, but that's, well, they're, they mean they work, but I mean they're on the inside. You can still see the door on the outside. Yes, but why? I'm just confused as to why you want to like can see like the cover up the door so nobody can see it. But like what? Like why do we? Why? I'm just confused as to like like what's the reason that we need to hide the door? Like I can't hide doors. What do you mean? Why can't? Why, what do you I, mean you can't? Like, Give me the tape and the bed sheet, and then we'll hide it. Yeah, but I'm that'll be, like that'll be quite hidden. Yeah, but I just I'm not allowed to do that. Why? You just said you're going to give me bed sheets and stuff. What what happened? Yeah, but I thought you were doing something like in the room, like closing off like the just the hallway to the room or something like that, and just like hanging up a bed sheet. Why would I do that? But, There's a door. Like that's why I was confused. That's why the bed sheet goes outside the door. You're yeah, not making any sense. I'm also confused as to what you were saying, though. I don't understand why you need to hang a bed sheet outside the door. Or curtains. Or curtains. Yeah, well, like, curtains or bed sheet. I just can't. Whatever you want. Have... I'll hang whatever. Well, it could be a curtains, bed I, sheet. I can't have be... you hanging anything. That's just what I'm trying to say. It could be damn construction paper for all I care. I could put a bunch of paper out there and tape it together. You draw it yeah, or something. I, can't I don't care. Do that well, like, it's just I can't can't just well, tape you, stuff up outside the doors. You said you're gonna grab a duct tape and then when I gotta find a bed sheet somewhere. That was the original plan. Yeah, because I didn't think you were covering up doors from the outside, like just hanging up bed sheets outside. I told you what room. I was doing. I told you I'm gonna cover it, like, I'm gonna hide it. Yeah, but hide I it. Didn't. I didn't understand what you were trying to say, but I can't have you doing that, hiding doors and things like that. Why? Because like the doors, not the doors, what well, the doors lock and close and stuff. I mean, I'm just gonna hide it. So, I just don't. Like, I can't do anything for you. That's that's all. I'm just like, I can't give you things to just cover. Well, up I don't the doors. need. I don't need. No, I'll do it. Like, I just need the tape and the bed sheet or curtains. Yeah, that's why I'm saying I can't give you that. Like, I can't give you what? things to cover up rooms. Well, then can I go buy a, some tape and a bed sheet then? I mean... I mean, if you want to do it yourself, I mean, you can. I just can't guarantee that, like, someone won't... Like, I personally won't ask you to take it down, but I can't guarantee someone else won't. I don't think anyone will, because they won't see the door. They won't even... Like, they're going to walk right past it. If there's a big sheet in front of the door, I think they would notice, yes? They wouldn't know there's a door... Well, if they take the bed sheet down, then they'll see the door. But if they just, you know, see a bed sheet, I don't think anyone's going to say anything. I mean, what what room is this going to? Why would anybody say anything if there's a bed sheet hanging up somewhere? You know what? It would make more sense if you would just give me curtains. If I put curtains up, then I know nobody would mess with them. Yeah, but I just don't understand why it would be needed in the first place. To hide it. Most people wouldn't mess with the curtains because people are afraid of messing with other people's curtains. I, I know this. Like, when you go on restaurants and stuff, people, they always ask, like, hey, can you can you adjust the curtains? Because it's, it's rude. It's rude to, like, you know, adjust someone else's curtains. Yes, but why would you need curtains on the outside? Or, or bed sheet, but you didn't want to do the bed sheet, and I think the curtains would honestly look I'm nicer. Just, I'm just confused as to why you want to cover up your doors. Hide it. Conceal it. Conceal? Is that a word? Yes, conceal I know what conceal, but why are you concealing the door? I, I don't, you got something in your hand and you put it in your pocket and now you can't see it. Yes, but this is a room and a door. Yeah, the door's shut. Yeah, so why do we need to hide the door? You just keep asking me the same questions over and over. I told yes, you. Yes, well, you're just telling me you just need a, you want to conceal the door, but I just don't understand why we're concealing the door and like... So they don't what know the... there's a door there. They'll walk right past it. Trust me. But 
I but, guarantee if I put curtains up, they're going to walk but why, right like, past it. Right past. They're going to. Oh, this are is they a not nice. Gonna they're going to look. They they're going to look at it. No, they're going to look at it and be like, oh, that's some nice curtains there. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And then they're just going to keep walking. They're not going to even think about there's a door there. Why would there be a door behind curtains? That's insane. Yes, but why would they not just walk past the door and just ignore the door? They might see a door and they're going to ask questions. They're going to, if there's a door there, door there, they could be checking doors. People check doors. People go through doors. People try door handles. People, like, that's what people do. Like, they try to get into places. But the doors are locked, yes? Yeah, but they're still going to try, though. If I put a curtain up, ain't no way. Ain't no way they'll walk right past. But I can't have you hanging things in our hallways or outside the hotel. Well, then you do it, then. I don't know. Like, I offer to do it. You won't. I cannot do it either. It's just, you can't have things just hanging around in the hotel hallways and outside the hotel. Oh, hang it! Well, hang it nice. If I get curtains, I'll put the curtain rod right up and it's everything. It's not an appearance matter. It's just we can't have. I I can't do that. I can't make that. Who's doing it? Who? Like, who? Do you have a maintenance? Like, how does how does one get some curtains hung up around here? We don't hang. We just don't hang curtains outside people's doors. That's all it is. That's well just, in the hallway. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, in the hallways, we don't hang curtains in outside of people's doors. Okay, I'll put the, the bed room. sheet there. Okay, bed sheet there, curtains by the glass door. Bed sheets, curtains, no matter what it is, we do not. Have somebody do it. Like, can I call somebody? There's no one to call. Do you um, want, like, money for this? this? Like, what do you, like... No money. Is it like a... Like, it's not a monetary thing. It's not a, like, anything. It's just we just don't do it. And I'll pay. Can't. It's not a paying thing it's not a paying issue then what is it what's the issue it's just we don't do that it's not allowed simple as that how is it not allowed i see you guys got curtains all over the place here like it's obviously allowed yes we have curtains for windows and doors there's curtains over these glass doors yes exactly on the inside of the building i'll take a picture and show you there's definitely curtains in front of this door. Yes. We do have curtains inside. Yeah. But you are trying to put curtains outside. Or, or a bed sheet. Outside. Or a bed sheet. I don't it, care. It's, it could be... not a, it's not a bed sheet or a curtain matter. It no, is no, just, no, no, no. You're the one that's all you're the one that's all hung up on curtains versus bed sheets and all these things. I would have had this done ten minutes ago. Okay, well, all I can say is that I cannot help you with this issue because I cannot have you hanging things in our hallway or outside the hotel. You said I got to go do it myself. I'm going to go buy some tape and then go find a bed sheet because you won't let me have one of yours. Now, I guess I'll make this happen. I mean, yeah, but if, I mean, if someone says something about it, then I will have to have you take it down. I just can't. What, are you trying to, like, 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 peek in my room or something? Like, what? Like why do you why do you want to get like why do you want to see inside my room so bad? I do not. But if you well, just it close sort of seems like well you're gonna, your you're, you're taking them my way to the hide it my ability to hide my door and it sounds like you want to come in and see what's going on. You're really I concerned about what I'm, what I'm you're concerned about what I'm hanging where and putting what, what with tape and I'm just trying to you know maintain maintain my space and my privacy. Yes, and I'm trying to maintain the like look of the hotel and trying to keep everything neat and organized. I cannot have you placing outside objects just placed hanging from our ceiling outside of your door or your hotel room on the we'll, back. We'll drill. No, no, we're gonna drill holes and we'll do it right. We'll do it the right way. We won't make I it. I cannot have you drill holes in my hotel either. It'll look nice. It'll look real nice. It, it doesn't matter whether it looks nice or not. I can't. Well, co- have well, what you color do you want? Hotel. I do not want a color. I don't like. I cannot have you picking anything in my hotel. I'm going to put up bright pink if you don't tell me a color. I mean, it just. I cannot have you putting just curtains. You know, like a tan, going, like a brown, hotel. a sun, a sunburned okay, orange. Well, sir, if 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 this conversation is not going to go anywhere, I do have guests that I need to help, so I will have to end this conversation. No, I got to go find a damn bed sheet. Some tape. I mean, I just can't have you hanging stuff up. Uh, that's all I can say. I'll prop it up. I won't hang it. 
I mean, whatever it is, I just can't have things just just. Well, I'll, in the I'll just lean it. I'll lean it up. I'll just lean them up like real, like real high. I mean, either way, I just like I said I'll before, no, I'm not have I won't hang having on. stuff just hanging around. Well, I don't know. I can paint it. I can just like I camouflage it. I'll camouflage it with paint. I mean, I just don't understand why this is such a large issue. It wasn't. You made it like you, you know, like I, I thought I was going to get some tape and a bed sheet out of you, and you brought up glass doors and people looking in through glass doors and everything. <laughs> this well, no this got it. way no. more complicated than it needed to be. Yes, it's simple as just close the curtain and the door is locked and no one will come in your room and no one can peek in your room. Except you guys, because you're gonna like find my door and just like jimmy it open or something. Because I know what you guys do. You're gonna come in while I'm sleeping or something. We are not gonna come in while you're sleeping. Like a quick peek and like a, a, a peek, like a peek, boom out. And why would we do that? I, I don't. I don't know. I don't ask these kind of questions. I just want to. I mean, you know, I'm gonna hang it up and then I'm hidden. I'm concealed, and people can mind their own business. Sir, I believe if a curtain is over your door and it's sticking out compared to the other doors, that that would raise more room for concern. And They're not going to see that door. They're going to see all those other doors and be like, wow, I'm going to go mess up those. Wow, this are. one with the curtain in front of this door is different. Let's go check out what's happening here. That is what I would do because with the curtain is over it, if I saw that as an employee here, I would take down the curtain, knock on your door, and ask you why is this in front of your room. Now you're and saying you're going to take it down. You say you weren't going to ask to take it down. Now you're just taking it down. I'm just saying if I was another employee here, then I would have to take it down because I like that's typically not allowed. Like I don't think people think that, that way. I I don't see curtains on the wall and immediately think oh, I got to rip that down. Yes, but if it's in the middle of the hallway, I would have to where a door is supposed to go. Well, you guys. Doors and windows and stuff. I mean, like, I don't like. I don't know why you'd think it's just like the appropriate thing to do. Just to immediately, if you see curtains, go rip them down, sir. Because it is not a curtain that's supposed to belong there. Do you want me to take these curtains on? What if I move these curtains, sir? I can't. If you any, you don't. I cannot have you making alterations to the room. Well, I'm just going to move them. I'm not changing anything. I mean, if anything in the room is out of place, um, we have to take a look at that. I don't know. I mean, why? I mean, for what reason do the curtains on the inside not serve the same purpose as if they were on the outside? But you can still see. The, you can still see the door. Yes, you can see the door, but can you see inside the door? The, no, you, you can't see through. The door. You can't see through the hall door either. Like you can't. Exactly. But you still see so a door. Why? That your concern to cover it up and what does someone looking at your door do no i don't i'm gonna cover it up so they don't mess up my door so i can't i just they're can't not covering up your door. they're not gonna see a door to mess with they're not gonna see anything they're gonna keep right on walking and unless it's you you of all people are gonna come and just like see curtains and just rip them down for some strange reason i mean yeah, because they don't belong. I mean, it just they you can't have things blocking the door, or just hanging you can't things decide, up. Well, no, you can't just walk into somewhere and just decide the curtains don't belong there and just start ripping shit down. People, are, they're gonna like call the police on you, sir. I work in this hotel. I can take down the curtains if they are placed in the hotel. I've never. Heard, you're, you're gonna just start taking curtains down. Yes, if like if they're just hung in just a random spot what's with you and curtains like why do you want to rip them all down i do not want to rip all curtains down what you just told me you're going to see curtains take them down no if i see curtains in the incorrect spot just in a place in front of a door blocking the door i will take them down just taking them down for no reason yes not no reason I... but the reason being that you you could just they open the curtains. They have there. a draw. They have a drawstring on them. You could just like open them. You don't have to rip them down. Yeah, but I I will because they. I mean, don't after belong. you're done, look, look. After you're done inside my room, all I ask is that you close the curtains, and, and your way out. Why would I be inside your room? I don't know because you seem really concerned about seeing the doors that are behind all the curtains. 
All I am saying is that we have a door in the room with a lock, and we have curtains over the sliding glass door. I don't know why you need a curtain outside of the sliding glass door or outside of your room door. I don't even need the inside one if there's an outside one. But why do you need the outside one if there's an inside one? It blocks the door and sunlight. Everything all, it's, it's like, it's multi-purpose. Yes, but I, I can't have you blocking the door. That is my main point that I'm trying to get across. I cannot have you blocking the doors. No, hide, concealing it. Like it's a curtain. You can, I, cannot you can have you, I cannot have you concealing the doors. Either way, I cannot have you making alterations to our hotel. I cannot have you drilling holes into our walls. I cannot have you hanging up anything, bed sheet, curtain, or other, in front of our doors. I'll use tape. I cannot have you concealing our doors. Period. It's just okay? one. Just my doors. I don't care about the rest of them. No, it does not matter. One door, all the doors, does not matter. I cannot have you concealing doors. Period. I'm going to leave the rest of the doors alone because they're like, they're like decoys then. Like people will go after them and not mine. Yes, well, I will just need you to not conceal any doors. And I have other guests, so I will have to hang up now. Have I don't understand. I cannot help you. That is all. Um, they like this. My friend likes the curtains. I mean, I'm gonna head out there. Uh, where's the door? The see, ah, he doesn't know where the door is. Behind the curtains. Open the drawstring. Yeah, see, I told you. Isn't that dope? Yeah. See, he likes them. Okay, very nice. Good thing he likes them. I cannot help you. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye. I'm talking about the outside, though. At the outside of the door. The inside, I got under control. You'd like to? I am finished. I cannot help you anymore. Um, I you didn't help, you help me. You didn't desk. help me at all. You didn't help me at all. I told Not you I cannot help bit. you at all. I cannot. I cannot help you a little bit. And in, you said in, no. You said you couldn't help me. No, you said you couldn't help me anymore. You didn't help me at all. Okay. Well, I cannot help you at all. Well, I'm you still could. That. I mean, we could still be. I could, we could still work something out. I do not believe so. I what? um can't help you. I'll pay. I'll pay. Like whatever you want. But Sexual I, favors. What? I, I don't. I, I, however, you want to do this. Okay. I will not take payment. I cannot take payment. What would you like instead of payment? Nothing. Like I don't. Well, I could donate into like a like a charity of your choice. Doesn't matter. I will not take any form of I'll, payment. I'll make this. a good, a good, sizable donation hey, bro, in your name. Hey, bro, I really hate to be. Where did you? Say oh, he, see, he lost. He lost track of the where, door again. Where did you say it was? You gotta open the curtains. You close oh, the, the curtains. curtains, the curtains. Yeah, open thanks. the curtains oh, back hey, up, hey, and you're good. Fine. Yeah, fine. yeah. I, no well, I'll be hanging what? now. Have a good one. Have a good one. Goodbye. What's going? Why? Because I cannot help you, and I have guests to tend to. So well, you just, have a good like, rest you could though. Goodbye. You could choose to help if you are. I, I mean, it's, it's, well, I help with some not. tape. Just the tape. Just give help. me the tape. No, just a little I bit. Give you half a roll. I cannot. Give you a, half a roll nothing. of tape. Cut, well, I you don't even have to. Anything. Just, just cut the roll in half. I'll take like you know. Sir, like, I cannot help you with anything. There'll be like pieces have of tape. It'll be like, like, like you know, like big. Well, it's like chunks of tape. Dude, that guy was on the phone forever. <laughs> I liked how he was about to hang up, and then me getting getting lost <laughs> made him stay on the phone for like another round. <laughs> yeah, I hear where this was going. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! Well, that's like the first half of the show, and we're on number two on my list. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, we're not gonna make quota tonight. We're not gonna make quota. You ruined it. Ah. Uh. I'm not even. I'm not even done with this premise. I want to say it again. These are these are really funny. The real fun, like these are fun to, to do. It's it, dude. It's hard to say. I need to cover my door like without laughing. It's hard to say that. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me. I almost started laughing. We're sorry. You've reached a non. I need to. I need to hide my door. Uh... But, like, Welcome that... to the Boulder North Hampton Inn and Suites by Hilton. It sounded like there was a, to a fair hotel amount of uh, operator. Lobby going on behind that dude, but he was on the phone for 25 minutes with you. Front desk, Jessica, how can I help you? Hey, Jessica, um, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, I do have a small accommodations to ask for. Okay. Um, is there a way that uh, we could like um, get the uh, my, my door to my room? Is there a way we could get that covered? I'm sorry, do you mind emphasizing or adding? What do you mean? Oh, just like cover, if you could cover the door. 
I like to hide it so no one will see it. What room are you in? Well, no, I, I would, I'm trying to get uh, more anonymous up here. I don't, want, I don't need you guys coming up here or anything. You're not invited in. Um, I, I just want to, do you have door covers or do you have sheets or curtains or something? Well, we, we would have to take it up to your room. Well, I could come down and get it. Um, give me one second. Let me grab my manager. That's not well, a request what? I've heard before. Well, why not? It's not a big deal. I just, like, if you have a, a bed sheet or some tape or something, I could, I could tape that up to the, like, to the door frame outside. Um, people walking down the hall, they, they wouldn't even know I had a door at all. That's kind of, that's what I'm looking for. That, I just don't want here, any, I don't want any added attention to my room. I want to just, I don't want anyone, anyone at all. Just private, like privacy and security. Thank you for holding. How may I assist you? Yeah, um, we were looking for something to cover my door. Please. I'm sorry, there's not anything that we have. You don't have like a sheet or a towel or anything? Uh, that's not anything that we can use on the door. Well, that's not very accommodating. I mean, it's not that strange of a request. I just don't want anyone to look at my door. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. What room are you in? And I can certainly go check it. What are you gonna, well, then what are you going to do? You're going to come up and look at my door? That's, uh, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but that's the opposite of what I want. If we need to do something face-to-face, I guess I could come down there, but I really don't... If you could, do, what room are you in? And I'd be happy to help you. I don't want you to come up here, please. Unfortunately, I can't assist you unless I can come to that room. Well, okay. Have you been... What, like, what's your food contact today? Because I, aller- I have allergies. Sir, I haven't eaten anything today. Well, what foods have you been around, though? Sir... Second, what room are you in? I'd be happy to contact. help you. I can't get around peanuts and stuff or any of them. I um, haven't beans. had any of that. Okay. Well, have you been around anyone who did have any peanut product? No, sir. Okay. Listen, how about this? What you room have, are you in? You I'd have, be happy to help you. What's a, your last I have, name, I have sir? a different idea. I have a different idea. So calm down. Do you have any <clears throat> tape or anything? Sir, what room are you in? And I'd be happy to assist you if you give me your name and your room number. I, why are you? Okay. Your attitude is way out of line and you need to unfuck it. I'm just looking for, okay, now I'm looking and for some And then unfortunately, tape. since you're speaking that way to me and you're not willing to assist me, our conversation Well, you're not willing to over. assist me, and that's not very good. I don't be, like being told to unfuck things. Oh, man, she got real upset about that. Here, do you want to talk to this guy for a half hour? Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I could probably. Comfort in Boulder. This is Crescentio. How can I help? Hi. Uh, I was wondering, um, since it's like really quiet here and everything, uh, is it okay if I uh, if I cover up my door? What do you mean, cover up your door? Like with a, I mean, I could use curtains, or I mean, like a bed sheet would work fine. Uh, why Why would you want to cover up your door? Like from the outside, you know, so like so people can't see it. Uh, like I the, can't like have you cover up it. the door. Oh no, just to conceal it, like just you know, like to hang something over it. No, just so, I can't have just, you do well, that. Well, well, no, because then when you walk past, you know, people will walk past it and not see a door there. What room are you in? In my, well, my room. I'm what trying room to, are you, know, you in? Well, are you gonna, are you gonna tape it up for me? Or, I, I expect that I'm gonna do this. Well, I can't have you cover up anything like that. Why? Because that's hotel policies. They can't have you just hang up anything on the doors so whenever you want. Oh, no, just to, like, to hide, like, to, to hide it, to conceal it. No, I can't have you do that. This is from the outside. This isn't from the inside. Uh, inside your room? Outside the room. Like, so when people no, are on the outside of the room. No, I can't have you do that. outside of it. Well, no, no I, I, I mean, you could you can do it if you need to do it. Well, then you no, do it. I, I, I can't hang nothing from the doors. Well, then I'll do it. And I can't have you hanging anything from the doors. Well, who's going to do it? No one's going to do it because it's against my hotel policies. Well, you got, you're saying you can't do it, I can't do it. Who can do it? No one could do it. Why? Look, because I'm just trying to try... Against, uh, it's, it's against hotel policies, sir. I'm, no, I'm just going to cover it up. Like, I'm not, no, I'm not breaking you're, any you're policies. No, you're not going to cover it up. Why? Because I'm telling you, it's against my policies. If you want, you don't have to stay here. I can have I could, you leave. Well, I could put curtains up. I mean, not, the no, curtains no, would probably can't. look better. Yeah, because you can no. have a drawstring. No. Okay. Well, you can pull the string and it'll open them no. up, and then you can go in the no. door. It'll look no. fancy and shit. No. Why? I'm sorry. Because well, I said I mean, no. 
I'll hire a contractor. No. Like a professional. Like they'll have like a professional no. drill. No. Like you can't drill anything in. You can't drill nothing in my walls or nothing, sir. Well, I won't do it. I'll have a professional do it if I'm not no. qualified. No, sir. The no. Most, what kind of qualifications? I, 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 I said no, okay? And that's the final straw, okay? Where can I get straws? I mean, where do you want me to... Like, how do you want me Dude, to take I, I don't have time to. I don't have time to argue with you. I said no, and that's it. I said I'd pay. I'd pay. I'd no. hire a contractor. No. P- professional. With no. curtains. Goodbye. What color do you want? I'm done talking cur- to you. Bye. Well, you could be... What? Why? Dude, you're killing it. You're killing it tonight. Oh, fuck. I don't care where you keep it. Thank you for calling Home Suits and Boulder. This is Jacob. Hey, Jake. Um, you guys, um, you got any, like, tape or, or uh, like, like silicone sealant or anything? Uh, I would have... Co- like, co- 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 tape. do you have caulking? Like, duct tape? Oh, that I, that I wouldn't have. Okay, um, I'm trying to seal the doors up here. Um, and I don't know, what do, like, what do you recommend? What do you mean, seal the doors? Just in my room. I don't want anyone to come in. Uh, that we wouldn't be able to do. Well, no, I, what room well, no, I know you wouldn't be able to do it, because I'd have to do it from the inside. Okay, what room are you in? Well, no, I don't want anyone to come up here. I have a nut alley oh. as part of the reason. Oh, I see. Yeah, so I was just well, going to always... uh, well, if you have um, duct tape, I could just like, seal it that way. Yeah, I could always see if we have anything like that, and I could bring it up to your room. I could just call my engineer and ask. Has you, have you or your engineer been in contact with any uh, nuts or tree nuts at all? Well, he's not here. I would just run up and put it outside your door. Well, if he if he's been in contact with the item, that's not the, that's not why I don't want to call. I don't want to talk about that. That's not what I want to talk about. I just want to seal the door from the inside, and then if um, do you have someone on housekeeping or something that could like put um, like a sheet over the outside of my door to cover it? Housekeeping isn't here at the moment. Well, would you be able to do that? Uh, that I can't do. So I'd have to do that before I seal the door. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could always ask and see what we have. I know he would have some new ones. Some new what? Sheets to... Some new, like, blocking oh, stuff. Oh, and, and then I yeah. can use that to seal the door. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I would have to bring it up to you because I don't know where it is. Oh, I'll come down and get it then. Mm. What, what do you mean? Okay, what do you mean, mm? I'm trying to think... Right. It makes more sense that way. If you get it together and then I'll come down and get it and then I'll seal myself in the room um, and then at that point I'll call you and you can hang the curtain up out, outside my door. Well, that I can't do. I won't do the curtain. Well, what can you hang up? We can't hang up anything for security reasons. Oh, um, what about, um, you know how they do for, for homecoming when they bust through the paper banner? That we wouldn't be able to do since we don't have that either. Well, if I go to the store and get some, can we just do like a paper banner in front of it? No, I can't do that still. Sorry. But that, why is that a security issue? It's just with fire hazard or anything like that. What, but what about sealing myself in my room with, with duct tape and caulking? That's... That one's also a fire hazard, which we wouldn't allow. Well, you said you'd call your engineer, though. All right, you know what? Let's stop talking about um, covering the outside. Let's just get that caulking going. Okay, here. What's a good phone number to call you back on? Um, who's your who's your carrier? What do you mean? Like, I have Boost Mobile. I don't know who our carrier is. This is the hotel number. Okay. Are they on the Boost Network? Because they're owned by T-Mobile now. I don't know and what it would be. They merged with Sprint a while back. I'm sorry, why? Oh, they merged uh, Sprint and, and uh, Boost and then T-Mobile, and they're all lumped in one, all together. Mm-hmm. So is there a good number I can call you back on, or do you just want to give us a call or come down and ask if we have anything? You can do. Pu- I was going to do push to talk on Boost. I don't know what that is, but yeah, just go ahead and get in touch with us whenever okay. I... Uh, thank you. I'll get in touch with, with you whenever you... Um... Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right. I don't know, dude. I feel off tonight, but you're killing it. Uh, I don't feel on. (laughs) (laughs) Um, what do you you want to stick on hotels, or do you want to switch off of them now? 
Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna... Oh, it's almost break. I'm, I'm quite thirsty. Well... It's a little warm in here. It's a little warm in here, too. Boulder Broker, and this is Tessa. Tessa, oh, is this the front desk? Yes. I'm sorry, the number looks fake. Um, I, I screwed up a little bit, um, and I don't want to get in trouble, but I think I have something i got to report to you. Uh, okay. Um, part, I brought, um, part of my, part of my room broke. Part of your room broke? Yeah. And I don't want to get, <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble because I think it's a part that you guys are going to care about. Uh, okay. What room are you in? And what's your name? What do you, well, I don't want to give personal information. What do you mean? What room am I in? I'm in, I'm in the bed. I'm in like the main, uh, the room at the bed right now. Well, in order to fix it, we have to have your name and information so that we can fix it. Did you break it? it I don't want to take responsibility, though. Could you just describe what happened? It was the number. What? Like the room number? Yes. Yeah, it, it, uh, it broke. And you're already, you were already asking about that, weren't you? The room number broke? Yeah. And I don't want to get in... Like, I, I know that you guys like, need, you need that. To, like, to know which room's which and stuff. What room number? Yeah. Well, I don't, would, okay. I, I don't know how you'd Sir, be able... I think, I think I need to get your name and the room number so that we can well, figure out okay. exactly what's wrong. I don't... We, I can't give you the... Because the, the, the room number... Uh, you're not going to be able to tell right now because it's broken. So you're not going to be able to use that. We, we have every other room's room number and we can figure it out. Oh, but not... No, this one's broken. Well, the others aren't. I don't want to say I pushed on it too hard, but some, so let's say someone did. Because, again, I don't, want to, I don't want to take responsibility I don't, for this. I don't want to take well, responsibility at all. Well, did you do all. it? Well, I don't want to take... Are re- you responsibility? Are you responsible? I don't want to take the responsibility. So someone, someone else can take it. Who else would take the responsibility? Uh, if there's someone else that should take the responsibility? Like, do you have a guy who's supposed to be cleaning them? No. Okay, because maybe he put he could have pushed too hard on it. The, there's no one that cleans the room numbers. Maybe oh yeah, hey that could be why it broke then. <laughs> if you guys Sir, are keeping I would maintenance like your up name, on it, please. And the room. Well, we already covered that. I can't give or you just the room your name. No- okay, yeah. Um, well, what do you want? My real name or the one on the um, ID that I gave you? Both. Well, no, it's gonna. It's got to be one or the other. I get in trouble. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Okay, fine. Room on the reservation. Let me give. No, I'll give you my real. I don't want to give you the number. I'll give you my my real name no, is no. No, you said one or the Xavier other. Regis. I'm I'm asking for the room on the reservation. I'm not going to give you the number. Broke. I can't give it to you. But my real I, name. I'm not asking my for real, the like number. My government, I'm asking my for the name, name that is on the reservation portal. Or this hotel. No, my government what name. What name the one, did no, you no, give no, no, the no, hotel? No, no, no. The one like on my birth certificate is Theodore Xavier Regis, and like that's the that's the because I you know what I shouldn't I should never have given you a fake one in the first. I'm pretty sure I can get in trouble. Well, no, it's only a felony if you yeah, if you, you present can. it. You no, know, only if you present it to the government. Theodore Xavier. What's the last name? Regis. Spell it. R e g i s. That's that's my real name though. I'm not in the computer. Then how about you give me the name that you gave no, to no, the hotel front no, no, desk no, 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 when no. you checked in? That would be a crime. Why would you call if you didn't want us to do something about it? Well, I don't want to get it. I'm not trying to take risks. I, I was hoping like maybe you guys repair them like every week or so something. So if it's your room that broke and you don't want to get in trouble for it, mm-hmm. but you called to have it fixed. But I don't know if you were, if you were, yeah, to like put the blame on someone or to get it replaced without any blame going on me at all. Yeah. (sighs) Okay. Like I didn't, I thought maybe you guys would come through once a week and like swap them out or something or I don't, I don't know. Uh, That's not something that hotels do, but thank you for calling. Well, okay. Well, what do you want me to do in the meantime? How am I going to get mail here? Um, well, you could tell me your actual name and we could get the... Uh, number fixed. No, that's yeah. My actual name is uh, Theodore Xavier Regis. No, no, no. The name that you gave to the hotel. Oh no, no, no. The mail. If I no, 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 no. If I get mail, it's going to come to my real name. Well, if I have your real name and not the name that that 
is equal to for the hotel portal, I can't get you your mail. Well, no, I'll get it. I'll get it anyway, I think. Well, no, I'm not going to get it because there's no room number. It's broken. Exactly. And we can't fix that unless I know which room number. It couldn't pop- well, you know, you keep saying, oh, it's my room, it's my room. But, like, I don't really own it. I'm just staying here. So I don't even know, yes, honestly, if I could be responsible. But you rent it. Right. But not the... Uh, you like have the, liability. The inside of it, not the room number. <laughs> the room number belongs to you guys all the time. But if you broke it... I never said that. Now, I told you very specifically that I didn't want to take any responsibility for it. Yeah, but you didn't tell me specifically that you did not break it. I said it was me or you someone. You just said, it I was don't me, want... It was me or someone who pushed on it too hard, I said. <laughs> okay. I thought it, swi- I manager, thought it was on a swivel. We can do. I thought it was on a swivel, like on the movies. <laughs> but no, it just broke right off. Yeah, I bet it did. For whoever was pushing on it. <laughs> I bet. Yep. Oh, I'm getting a text. Okay. Hang on. I'll wait, 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 wait. Well, no, hold on. Let me you see if it's from to my cool. Let me, let me see if it's from. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I just wanted to tell him I, that's a good a good excuse for not giving the room numbers because it broke. I'm spending too much time on this. We need to go on break. Oh, yeah, we'll be back. Pack up your things. This is the worst night of your life. Not quite. You'll be fine. Benches will sing. This is the shit that makes you think you're not made for this sailor's life. These golden rings comprise the last of the captain's things. You watch the ship sing. Pack up your things These are the worst times of your life Not quite You'll be fine Given time Cause we were right Tonight I cried To an episode of Empty Nest I've never felt such emptiness the night you died I must have called like 50 times To make sure you weren't dead alive The times you signed From the lighthouse on the hill They were lies, you weren't ever there We're back, are you back? I'm back I don't think anyone else is back. No one else is here. <laughs> Who? Oh, you're here. Uh, oh. Here I am. Thanks for calling TJ Maxx at Home Goods at Castle. Say, how can I help you? Hi. Um, I had screwed up. Um, and it's totally my fault. So, but I was hoping you could help me anyway. Um, <laughs> I had meant to get 30 30s on my pants. Uh, but mm-hmm. I screwed up because of all them threes, and I ended up with 33, 30, 30, or 30, 30, it's the, mm-hmm. it, the, the waist is too big. It's 30, uh-huh. 33 thirties. Um, and it's totally my fault because I just got the wrong one. Oh, you're fine. Now, Did you want to return them? Well, no. What I was thinking is, do you know approximately like how many pounds I would have to gain um, for them to fit properly on, uh, like across the waist? That I'm not quite certain about. I'm sorry. Like, is it going to be like 10 pounds or, or more? Or? And you said they're too big in the waist? Yeah, it's a 33, and I needed a 30. And yeah. I mean, I don't want to return them. Because it's, it's totally my fault. I don't even think I have the receipt, because, you know, I thought these are good pants. I'm going to wear them. Um, I must have just Why grabbed the, I those threes. I grabbed the wrong ones. That's why I'm thinking if I put on weight, then they'll fit good because I have vacation. Yeah. I got a vacation. Yeah, at least about five. At least, yeah, for sure. At least about five pounds. But you're welcome to come in and exchange them even if you don't have your receipt. I don't know if five pounds is going to get me three inches. Do you think it'll get me three inches on the waist? Well, depending on how you gain weight. That's the truth. Um, yeah. So then, like, <laughs> how, like, what, like, what should I, like, high protein, low protein? Like, how many calories are we talking, like, per day? Uh, and how long yeah. is this going to take? Hmm, that's a good question. Let me uh, get some assistance for you. Just one second. Well, who are you getting? Do you have, like, a nutritionist? 
well, she would have a better idea than I who, would. Who is she in this scenario? My supervisor. What's her? Who is she? Supervisor? She? Who is this? Her name's Lexi. Lexi. Is she? Yes, hot? sir. Is she hot? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. Put. Yeah. Put her. That sounds like a hot name. Put her on. Okay. Okay. Just one second. Hurry up, though. I don't got all the fucking time in the world. Okay. So. Okay. Sorry, I had a very important text message I had to send. Um, Lexi's not coming, and she's, which you know what that means? She's probably not hot. <coughs> oh, <coughs> here's a TJ Maxx. Do you do you want it wasted, Snappy? Thank you do you for want calling it? TJ Maxx Snappy. in Columbus, Indiana. Snappy. You ready? Ready? Yeah. One moment, please. Oh, la la la, TJ Maxx. Hello. Great day, TJ Maxx. Let me help you. Hi, Scrutiny. How are you doing? Uh, good. You? My name is My name is Mimi. Nice to meet you. I'm going to be coming through there, and uh, I just want to let you know, like, everything's okay. Everything. I'm good. I'm healthy. I'm safe. But I did consume a fair amount of edibles, so I am ex- uh, in the midst of a psych of a psychedelic experience, and I just need to know that I'm like not going to be judged or looked at in a foul manner during my shopping visit. Um. Well, well legally, legally, if that is, that is legal, legal, if you're doing it uh, legally, oh yeah, in some oh yeah, sort of it's, way, le- it's legal. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's all. Do you up have documentation to prove up. that? Uh. Well. Uh. The thing is, it's like. It's a psychedelic, and I do know the guy, he, like, has a signature. He gave me a signature on a piece of paper. So, technically, yes, I am all set with legal documentation on this matter. Okay. okay. Well, um, I don't think anyone in here is going to really care as long as okay. you're not being disruptive. Like, even, even, oh, yeah, I'm not going to be destructive, but I am going to get, like, you know, I might get a little weird. I might get, like, staring at people with my eyes all boggling and kind of, it, because it's just, like, how things, when it's, like, the reality is that we're not consistently here, but moving it, it, moving forward and it's like the comparative reality of how we're proceeding and all that. That it's like, yeah, we're all we're good, we're golden. Yeah, yeah. just the only thing the only that it boils down to is if you're being boy. Or not. I'm not being disrupt disruptive, but don't this please is, don't please don't talk about boiling. Boiling, that's scary. That's hot. Okay. Okay. Caliente. Just don't be disruptive. Caliente. Caliente. Um, can okay. you please tell me, do you know what the T and the J actually stand for? Um. Ooh, gotcha there. You did. Bing, 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 bing. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. Um, I love you. Okay. Okay. Get me. Get oh, I wasn't done. Oh, no. Oh, no. I wanted him to get me pregnant. That's, um... That's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty, um, that's, um, that's a pretty good request. Yeah. Hi, this is TJ Maxx in Greenwood. This is Taylor. How can I help you? Hey, Taylor, we got a problem. Um, I had gotten an outfit down there with the help from, uh, one of the staff that, like, helped me pick out some, some things to, to wear together. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I thought it was good. Um, I had worn it that day, and I had gone home, and it's comfortable, and it seemed good to me. Uh, wash this. This is about a week ago, um, and I had washed it now, and then I had worn it out. Um, when my friends saw me, they they um, they made fun of me um, in a way that uh, was very inappropriate. They made fun of you in a way that was inappropriate? Yes. Who helped you pick out this outfit? I don't know the name of the employee, but I don't know what it is about it. But they, they, were, they were hurling like, um, like, sl- like slur words at me. And um, I don't understand why they would do that. Because um, almost everything they said to me doesn't, it didn't apply to me. I'm, you know, I'm just a, I'm just a normal guy and they're, they're calling me. I don't. I don't even want to get into it. It was. It, it was very, very offensive. I, I think it, if 
if I had been any of the things they said to me, I think it would have qualified as a hate crime. Um, okay, well, I mean, you can bring in the outfit and return it, but... I don't think it, I don't know if it was in, but it's they, they said it was because they're like why are you wearing that and then they they were saying they were saying some awful awful things about me. Do you know what this person looks like? Uh, it, the person who said the things about me is, is a, a, he's a friend of mine. A friend of yours? What were you wearing? I'll bring it in. It's just I thought it's just like a shirt. It's like a button. To, I don't know if it's a polo or what it is. It's got buttons on it. It's like a shirt. Um, and then like a pair of, I don't know what you call them, like khakis. I'm not sure what the cut, what the cut is or what the color is or any of that. I don't know anything about clothes. I was like, help, you know, help me get some, some shirts and, and pants that go together or something. Um, I mean, I don't know. I guess what I, I, they, was it like a joke that the, the staff was playing on me? Like having me dress, like, am, am I, am I offensive? Am, am I dressed offensive or? I mean, did the shirt say anything on it or something? Oh no, no, nothing like that. No. Then, uh, then you're fine. You're fine. Well, no, I'm not fine. I'm emotionally at... Do you know what it's like to be... To, it's not... Okay, it wasn't pleasant. We can, we can get you on with MOD if you want. Who's that? The police? The manager. Oh, is that the police you mean? No, I already, not the I already talked to them, and they said if they were just calling you names, um, it doesn't count. Okay. Do you want to speak to a manager? Is there a manager? Right? Is that who's whispering to you? No, it's my coordinator. Let me talk to the coordinator. Okay. <laughs> Hi, this is Corey. Hi. Oh. Uh, are you the coordinator or you're Corey? Yes, this is. Yeah, I'm a coordinator. You're co- How's it going? Coordinator Corey? Yes, how you doing? That's fuck. That's confusing, man. Uh, no, I'm, my name is my name is Corey, and I'm uh, and and a coordinator. Yeah, coordinator. What? Wait, what is yeah, your job? Wait, no, your your name is Quarter. And what is your no, job again? No, no, sir. My name is Corey, and I'm the front end coordinator. It's just my my mouth was kind of stumbling a little bit. Oh, like the term, like a coordinator. Yes, I'm the front end coordinator. Coordinator. Yes, okay, I got it. Um. No, I had worn a, ba- a bad outfit, and I had gotten call- called some terrible, terrible words. Um, and I don't by by an employee. Oh no, by my friend when he saw the outfit. When he's like you, and then he just started going. He he said the the uh, all the all the words at me, like all of them. Who who was saying these things? He called me the the f word and the r word. Who, um, um, he called me the. Who was who was saying this to? He's you? He's a friend of mine. Does he work here? No. It was, but it was based on the outfit that I was wearing from TJ Maxx. Oh, so you... He's like, so, why are you dressed at that? You R-word, F-word, like, like that. And then he just kept going, though. He kept going. He's, he's put a whole string of them together. Okay, so what is your... What, what's your complaint? Well, I, want, I don't think I should wear this, then. I, mean, I don't understand. And it wasn't just him. Like, there were people on the street that were... I got called, like, they were yelling words out at me at the window when they're, they're driving by as I'm walking back to my car. There's something wrong with okay. this outfit. I'm, I'm getting yelled at a lot. Okay. okay. Uh, well, let me transfer you to a manager so they can better... Um, what are you... You've coordinated nothing. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm just trying to figure out... Because there's a chain of command here. Okay. So you've oh, you've uh, broken. Okay. Me, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. Those two giggling girls should not have broken the chain of command and involved the quartermaster at this point. But here you are well, they, on the phone, and and it's wrong. It's wrong. We've broken chain of command. Okay. Did so you? Let's, let's did you tra- still no, want to speak? No. Let's terminate you still the call. Want to speak no. No. Let's do. Let's start doing the right thing right now and terminate the call. You've broken the uh, chain of command. There's no custody. There is no straight. There is no uh, direct custody of this call. There's nothing we can do with it. Okay. Well, you well, can't. You, you can't nice help picture. me. You can't help me. I can't help you. There's nothing we can do with this. There's no. There's no uh, direct chain of custody. They'll throw it out in court. Okay. Thank okay, you. Well, I do apologize. Thank well, it is bye. your fault. Thank you. That got weird. Not weird enough. <laughs> great day at your local TJ Maxx store. How can I offer you exceptional customer service? Hey, I was, I was just wondering, um, I got some, you know, some, some stuff from down there and I was wearing it and everything, but I, it's the weirdest thing. Like, uh, 
they, they, they can't see me. Like the people what? don't see. Like people are having a hard tra- hard time uh, seeing me when I'm wearing the clothing from there. You know. Are you being serious? Yeah, it's like not quite camouflage, but like you just like their eyes just pass right over. Like normally, like you know, like. If people are running okay. into me and stuff, that's kind of like why I'm like I'm more alerted to this. Okay, well let me let me t- like uh, let are, you talk to the manager. They're, they're running here. into me. They're running into okay. like they're ru- like walking right into me. Like what if a car hits me? Let me let you talk to the manager, please. Okay. Uh, but wh- why? Because I have gotten customers in line and I can't answer your question. Oh, I was like, well, just tell me. Just tell me what's going on. Did I buy the wrong stuff? I don't know. Let me check and see. Okay. With who? How? How do you check? Just, just a second. What do, what do I gotta check yeah. with? I got a tape measure. Hello? You want me to get the tape measure? Hello? Hello, I'm still here. Hang on one oh, moment. Oh, yeah, I, I have a tape measure. What about, A tape measure? Well, I, I, that's all I got. What do you want me to do with it? I can check something with it. Okay, well, hold on just a moment. Let you me didn't tell me how to check. To you, okay. you said you got to check. You got to check. And how, how do you want me to check? Hang on a minute. What? No, I don't. I need your help, bag. What, ma'am? Are you like talking about me? Like behind? Like, what do you? It's, um, thank you for holding. This is Shanna. How can I help you? What? Okay, ask. Do I? Okay, I have the tape measure. What do I do with it? I I'm sorry. Uh, I just hopped. Um, she just passed the phone to me. What did you need? She said she had to find a way to check. Like, how do I check? What am I checking for? Uh, what are you... Ch- I'm, I'm sorry, what are you checking? Like, I'm worried because people are running into me because they can't see me, and now, now, like, what if a car hits me? You said you needed a tape measure? She said I have to check, and I don't know what... That's all I got. Do I need a flashlight? Would that work better? Like, what... You're not making any sense. She said she's checking, 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 and I got a tape measure, a flashlight... What do you want me? Like, no, what do you want me to do? No, I'm sorry. She just passed the phone to me. I have no idea what's what's going on. So can you start from the beginning? Okay. Now, I got some clothing from there, and I, I've been noticing, and I've been asking people after, like this is after the fact when, like they're they're running into me, like they didn't even know I was there, like they didn't even realize I was there. They walked right into me. Uh huh. Like, like I was concealed to them. And it's only when I'm wearing the clothes from there, and I just don't know. And then, like, if she, if I did the wrong thing, or I'm wearing the, like what, like what do you? She said she have to check. I'm I'm not talking to you. I don't. I told her I had a tape measure. I didn't know how to check. She she. So basically, people like so when you're in the store, people are hitting you. No, like outside the store. Like I put these clothes on, and people don't see me, and they run right into me. And they're like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm, they're like, oh, my God, sir, I didn't realize, I didn't even see you there. So did they hit you with, like, a shopping cart or a car or? Their bot, like, they ran, like, what, what, walking, they went right into me. Oh. And I'm like, ah, ah, what happened, ah, like that. And they're like, oh, my God, sir, I am so sorry, I didn't even see you there. Yeah, there's a, lately, it's we've ever been ever since really I got the clothes. I was going to say, lately we've been having a lot of customers that they just don't pay attention to their surroundings. It's happened at my job. I'm the clothing. I got the clothing from there. Uh-huh. But this, now this is happening. I've never had this happen before. I've never had problems with people not being able to see me in time. Right. I mean, I'm sure people can see you. I was standing there. I wasn't even moving. And they, they just keep walking right into me. They, they're just they're walking, they're walking, they're walking. Bam! Right in. Like, holy shit! Like I, I, it scares me. It startles them. It sca- It scares everybody. Nobody likes it. It's not. It's not funny. It's. It's not funny at all. And it's. It's quite startling. It's very startling. And I. I mean, did I do something wrong? Am I wearing? Is, is this? Is this supposed to do that? They. They're, they don't look camouflaged. They're not camouflaged. It just looks like a regular, like regular stuff. Now it sounds to me you're just been around people that are rude and not paying attention, I guess. What do you mean? I put a shirt on from Spencer's and they see me like a mile away and they're like, ha ha, look at that shirt, it's funny. Like that, like they see me. I mean, there's they see nothing in point. about, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I wear your shirt, and they just run right into me, and I get scared. I I apologize. Is like what if what? I wear this in traffic? What if like someone thinks that there's no one driving the car? I mean, I'm sure like you're perfectly visible. I mean, I don't understand why that's happening to you. It's almost like I'm invisible or some like. I, I, but I put the different shirts, on, different shirts. No problem, no problem. They point, they point and look. They point and they talk. Say, hey, I see that shirt. Hey, I see you. I mean, they don't run. I, they don't run into me. They don't run into me. Not not even one time. I can like I, I can try walking towards them and they get out of the way. I walk towards but, uh, them and they move. They move. I I don't know. Like what to tell you? I mean, I never heard of anything like that happening. Did I wash it the wrong way? How do I? Do I usually wash it. You know, I, can I wash it by cold water? Yeah, I'm, yeah I, I'm sure. I'm sure. If it's I put not it in hot. Clothing. Well, I mean, I've tested it. I've tested it. I put the shirts on. And I've te- and like bam, it's like a magnet. They, just, they walk directly into me. Um. So, uh, what is it that you Ma'am, dogs, me- ma'am, when, like, someone's walking their dog, the dog doesn't even look at me. And that's weird. What is, like, what could I do to help you? I'm- I don't know. I'm asking you, like, what should I do? I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sure it's just a really weird coincidence. Does, like, does the shirt have the wrong, like, like the polarity? Do I need to like switch it around or something? Like, what? If I like microwave it or something? I would not recommend putting it in the microwave. That would set fabric on fire. <laughs> okay, well, then what am I doing with it? How do I reverse I, the polar- polarity on it? I just, I just I, want people to see it. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they see it. Our clothing, you know, is not invisible or anything. You know. Stop running into I, me. Look, I'm just I'm getting bombarded here right now. This is a bit much. I, mean, I think there's... you guys are up to something here, and then it's freaking me out. My own dog wouldn't even look at me. I had to change shirts. I mean, the only thing that really is within my power is if you have, you know, the tags or whatnot, I can do a refund, but... Well, I don't want any money or anything like that. I just, like, I mean, I like the way the shirts, like, I like how they look. I think they look nice. I think it's a quality product. It's just, I don't understand what, 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 what everybody like, running into me and everything. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. I've never heard of anything like that happening. I mean, I would understand if there was a recall or something, like some kind of emergency, um, this shirt is too dangerous recall i don't i mean i don't know how those work uh, when they say something's too dangerous and you got to give it back or they they come yell at you or something like they do it with cars and shoes recalls about shirts okay well you just want to like take a note of it maybe just like take a note of it yeah i can definitely you know uh let my bosses and everything know about it. Um, did you want me to take down any information for any higher ups to uh, get back with you? Um, I mean, I'd be comfortable with uh, giving you the uh, like the house the house line. You guys can call the house number back. Yeah, I mean, I can I can take it down. Um, I'm the only one here for the rest of the night, but I can pass it on to uh, my higher ups. Well, just in case, like you know, I don't, you know, if you know, you never know. You never know. Maybe they, maybe right. somebody wants to call. Maybe someone wants more information. But then, that, then you have it. Then you can give them that information that they want. Right. Yeah, you could do that. You want the number? Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that down. My name is Edward. If I don't answer, it'd be it'd All be right. my wife Beverly. If if, it, if I don't answer, but um, it's six zero two eight three seven six zero six nine. What was the last four? Six zero six nine. 
All right. And, um, I will let them know the feedback that I have gotten mm-hmm. from you. Yep. And yeah. I appreciate it. I mean, I just, I just hope, I just hope maybe, I, maybe if I get some, uh, get some sweat or something on here, or some stains or something, people like it might all just pop up on their radar. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Right. What to think. I mean, I, I feel wrong just re- like returning it. I mean, there's no, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, I have no idea what. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, no, that's it. That's why I was calling. That's uh, yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, that's all. There was nothing else. I hope your evening gets better. Oh yeah, I hope yours is a good evening too. And I hope nobody runs into you. Like I mean, like the like the bad kind. Like I hope you hope you see friends and like people you run into. Like oh hey, nice to see you, and you know like that. But like not you know like physically like like almost run you like you know and they step they're stepping on your shoes. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I do not wish that upon you. I wish the good one. Yeah, I usually have to swerve around customers sometimes. The sons of bitches. All right. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I pre- yeah, I appreciate it. I've worked in retail before. I understand. I understand. I understand. And I appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Aww. That was the Edward number. <laughs> I was clicking end call and it wouldn't, it wouldn't end. What's with you in 20 minute calls tonight? I don't know. I just have a chatty <laughs> mood, I guess. Be on a roll. <laughs> I hope they're funny. They're probably not. I don't know. They're just really long and <laughs> just rambling with people. And they're just, they just can't get rid of me. They keep going. Oh no. I've heard people say I'm hanging up this phone at least like five times a call or something. <laughs> I mean, not all, you know, that one guy. Well, they like need that. to make sure that you that you know that they're hanging out the phone. Yeah. Thank you for calling Kokomo TJ. Great day at Kokomo TJ Max. This is Sadal. How may I offer exceptional customer service? Hey, Cedar. Um, my son is coming down there. He's 16 to do some shopping or something. Um, I'm just, uh, trying to teach him a lesson. Um, I'm, we're, it's, a, it's, a parent, it's, a, it's a parental thing, like a... Um, but long story short, um, shortly after, after he gets there, I'm gonna I'm um, I'm gonna come down and, and hit his car with my car, um, and then leave. Okay. It's gonna be a valuable lesson for him. Okay. Uh, we do close in like twenty minutes. Oh yeah, I know he's on his way right now, um, and I I got to give it uh, five minutes, but I'm gonna be five minutes behind him. All right. And it's like pretty much as soon as, yeah, I'm going to hit him and then just take off and uh, come back home. Okie dokie. I'll let him know. Well, I just well, want to, yeah. Him, but... No, oh, yeah. Please don't let him know. He, he needs to think yeah. that a stranger did it and that he might be in danger. Okie dokie. All right. Thank you. Uh-huh, bye-bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> See, that's how you do it. They just hang up on you right away. <laughs> Wham, bam. Oh, no. Peak boom done. Oh. Snappy, I know you want to do one. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't have my I don't have my headphones, so I just want to make sure everything was on the up and up. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, hello? Oh, oh, there's an echo. There's a severe echo, and that was throwing me off. Okay. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm gonna be coming through there soon onto the property, and I have um, I have consumed some of my medication, but it does um, alter my kind of you know standard state. So I just want to make sure that, like, when I'm there, if I'm, like, you know, feeling the effects or the side effects are uh, taking hold of me, that I'm not going to be promptly ejected from the premises. Okay, so what are any of your side effects? Oh, well, things are, it's, um, I wouldn't describe them as hallucinations. Uh, I'd describe them as, like, affirmations or acceptances and kind of, af- uh, oh, I always said affirmations, but uh, validating my experiences in life thus far. And it's just, it's sometimes it's like I get my facial expressions can get a little weird, and I don't want anyone to think that I'm, like, doing, like, the bad drugs. 
Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, we're just, just so you know, we do close over. in 20 minutes. 20? 20? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. I'm going to be there as fast as, as well, fast as possible. I keep thinking you're chiming in to say something, but that's just me echoing in the background. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, I hope that gets okay. fixed soon. But um, I'm going to be coming through, and if my facial expressions seem a little off, or if anyone comes up to me, can I tell them, I'm sorry, what was your name again? Uh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. I'll say, hey, okay. Jo- what? Jo- what? Jo- Joshua. Joshua. Yes. yes. Joshua. Jocelyn. 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 Yes. I'll say you can talk it out with Jocelyn. She said everything's okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All Fuck right. yeah. All right. Have Let's day. rock and roll. Okay. All right. oh! I I love you, Jocelyn. All righty. Kisses. Please give kiss. Please. Oh. Jeez, between your, between your head, lack of headphones, and I think you were on speakerphone, and I think the line was echoey. Uh, yeah, it was echoing a bit, but um, I mean, nor- I've been up without headphones before, but there's something, I don't know why it's especially bad right now. I need to get new headphones. Thank you for calling your Maribor TJMX. May I help you? Hey, um, I, I had screwed up, um, and I'm sorry. Number one, I'm sorry, because uh, it was my fault, and I'm, I'm going to have to ask you for help on it. What happened now? Um, I bought the wrong size pants. Okay. Yeah, I meant to get 30s, uh, but I got 33. If you have your receipt, you can still return them. Well, no, I don't want to return them. Um, do you? I was wondering... Um, do you know how much weight I would have to put on, like to to get the to get the No, sir, filled? I do not. Do you have a rough estimate? She didn't like it. Thank you for calling your Michigan City TJ. TJ Max. Hi, right, TJ Max. Yes. Where, like okay, like uh, as far as like the parking lot goes, like what's like the best way I could like hide my vehicle while I'm inside the store? That you could hide your vehicle? Like hi- yeah, conceal it. Um, from like just like other people? It's just they can't see it. Like I, I could just put like a big. You have like a like a big sheet, put a big sheet over it. Uh, we do not. Are you trying to buy one? I could buy one, and then I, but I would want to put it on, you know, like just real. I'll run inside like real fast, and then I'll run back out, so it won't be like people won't be able to see it that long. Um, is that like a, a curbside thing I can do? Like I can drive it up and just you know, hey, I want that bed sheet. We do sell bed sheets. Is it big enough for a car? It's a Honda. Uh, like a like a Honda Fit, like a small one. Yeah, a Honda. Um, possibly, if you got, like, a really, really big one, but I can't f- promise you that. I'm not sure. Four cylinders in it. Would it fit? I, yeah, I, I don't know. Okay. Do you have something else? Like a tarp? Because I don't, I mean, if I Is can't it like cover a really it. nice vehicle? Is that why? No, it just it's just kind of a, a normal car. I just, I really don't want anybody to see it. Okay, um, I... Here, I'm going to put you on hold. I'll ask my manager. Why? What? I, I quit, you mean to yell at me or something like for the, with the manager? Like, I don't... No, I'm just... I, I don't know what all we would have. That, like, oh, I don't know if we like have bed any... bed sheets. Big bed sheets. Like, real big ones. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Not little, little baby ones. No, no, no. Can you tie them together? Do you have any duct tape? Can we no. make something work? We don't all know duct tape. No duct tape. We do have sheets. Oh, boy. Okay, you got sheets, but maybe not car-sized. Probably not, no. Well, then why... See, that's why I'm confused. Like, you're getting managers, and... I mean, what's the stop there? Maybe you're going to call the sheriff on me or something. I don't know. 
What's your reasoning? Well, you're getting the manager, and that's usually a sign. Like it's it's a sign that things are going bad. No, I was just like gonna downhill. grab the manager so he could like help you because I don't know how to help you. Well, I mean, it's kind of like you said you don't have any bed sheets that big. We probably don't know. Oh, uh, see, dang, dang, dang. Are you already outside of the building? I'm driving around. I don't want to stop. I mean, I'm you know like doing the hands free because you know safe driving and and all that and and I'm just well, I'm driving it I'm driving it I'm driving I'm you know if I keep moving nobody can look at it that long okay yeah I'm I'm not exactly sure how to help you I'm sorry okay damn it okay uh, how okay well I mean it's just taking a long time where is this manager uh they could take you in like two seconds two uh, is it like two seconds like he could have transferred like by now or, or okay see now <laughs> Now the they're probably come. in the no, because they're in the office. So oh, you they don't can literally even see just them. Pick it up. No, but they're in they the are. office. It's the same. It's the same phone. They have it a phone in their me. office. Oh my god! You're transferring me to like a call center or some shit. No, like, it's the same. Away! Building. I'm gonna hit these buttons on this phone. I never have to hear this weirdo again. They're just gonna transfer him. Get him out of here. That's not my problem. I ain't gonna pay enough to work and deal with this shit. I understand. Okay. I work retail, but I don't want anyone to look at this car, and I don't have any bed sheets that big either. Okay, I'm sorry. We're really busy right now. Um, well, I I'll got a lot of shit to do too. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, but I, I mean, I was gonna buy some bed sheets. From- I think I heard her faintly say, "I do too." <laughs> oh no! Can, can I try one? Um, what do you want, TJ Maxx or a hotel care. or a hotel? No, I don't care. No, it's up to you. Have to pick. Uh, flip a coin. Um, hotel. Okay. Thank you for calling the aloft. You are being transferred to the operator. Oh, I know. Okay. Aloft, I'm airport. This is Diana. How can I help you? H- Hello. Hi. What can I do for you? Well, if you're not going to take this seriously, I'm just going to hang up. I am. Uh, how can I help you? Uh, how accountable are you guys for my actions? I'm sorry? How accountable are you? If I just go around just defacing property or doing crazy stuff, how accountable are you? I'm not saying I will, but how accountable are you? Um, I'm not sure I understand your question. Like, if I, if I was just a crazy person, like, God forbid, how accountable are you for that? Um, if there's any damages done by another person, we wouldn't be held accountable. You'll pay for that, right? You'll pay for that. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to. Well, how do I get you accountable? Um, is there anything that happened or? Well, it, I, something could happen. You know, I, I could be up to no good. You, you don't know who I am. I'm a stranger on the phone. I, I could be doing mischievous stuff right now. Um, I could be twisting off like really... salt shakers, like the little little tops off. So like. They get too much salt in their food? Um, I'm not really sure what I can do to help you. Well, if, if someone orders food... We're not food, really held accountable if, if, for any action. If someone orders food, I could switch the order for mine and do a little switcheroo, then they'll get the wrong order. <laughs> I... Would you be accountable for that? I mean... <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? No. You need to be. You need to be held accountable for that call. I, I the, the I'm gonna hang up thing worked. I know I am taking this seriously. That's not yeah. That to to try and ditch right at the beginning. Oh no 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 wait. <laughs> I have, I have to make the people on the other phone come to me. Oh, I wanted to call. Thank you for calling Best Western Plus. Give me just a moment. I'll no, be right with you. absolutely not. There's no time. How can I help you? Hi, how are you? Is this the front desk? Hello, de- how hi. can I help you? Hi, is this the front desk? Hi, how are you? Yes, it is. What, what, can what, I put what, you on hold, what, sir, no, please? No, I can't be on hold. Please, stop. If you're going to act like this, I'm I just am gonna, still going to gonna answer. If you're going to act like this, I'm just going to hang up, and I don't think you want that. Sir, I'm just going to answer your the other at, phone. No, your attitude, then, no, your attitude's way out of line, and I have half a mind to hang up. How can I help you? Hi, how are you? I'm okay. 
Thank How you. can I help you? Thank you. Um, I was wondering, do you have um, anything that I could use to cover up my door? To what? Well, I was going to do... Are do you, you in house guest? Yes, I am in house guest, yes. What is the room number? Well, no, I was going to use... Um, do you mind if I, if I do use like um, a removable um, adhesive? Do you mind if I put popsicle sticks on the door? Like if I cover it with popsicle sticks? Oh. <laughs> I like that one because she asked me if I was in house guest. House guest, yes. Are you in house guest? <laughs> Well, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the first time I've been asked that. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, here, talk to these people. Hi, hello? Hey, hi, well, this is Comfort How can I help you? Oh, okay. Is it okay if we use popsicle sticks to cover up the door? Sorry? Is it okay hello? if we... Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Is it okay if we use popsicle sticks to cover up the door? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> My favorite part of that was how she just answered a phone call. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> the phone ring, she just <laughs> answered it. <laughs> uh, what, a, what a loser. Oh. Does that count? Yeah, I had <laughs> Stanley Stay America, Anton speaking. How may I help you? Anton, um, I was wondering, is it going to be a problem if I, um, because I'm having a good stay here. Everything's good. Um, But my door, the door to my room. Where uh, are you at? What do you mean? Well, no. no, Yeah, the door to my room. It's just plain. Um, Is it okay if I jazz it up a little bit, maybe with some popsicle sticks and yarn? I won't use anything permanent adhesive. It'll all come right off. Where are you? What are you? T- where are you at? What location you're at? What do you mean? Is this not the front desk? No. Who did I call? You called. Ex- you called Extended Stay America, but you called the Extended Stay America North. What does that mean? That means that you have. To, you called the one that's getting to get, that's getting renovated. Nobody's in this building. Oh, are you over shit. there by the light rail? Well, which one was I supposed to call? That's what I'm asking you. Are you staying at the one by the light rail? I don't know. Is it off of Harvard? I don't know street names or nothing. Okay. Sir, I'm like, is it in I'm, a little like cubby? A, I'm like a half yes. idiot. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's in a little cubby hole? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's uh that's um extended stay south. I don't know how it transfers you to this number. Well transfer the me back then. Yeah, transfer me this. transfer me back, please. It, I can't. Um, the number you'll be calling. Well, no, aren't you at the? Well, then what are you? Then what is your job then? If you can't even transfer phone calls, then what are you even doing there? I'm a security. I'm a security guard over here. Well, what are you even? I'm, what are you even? Secu- if there's nothing there, then what the hell are you even securing? And you don't even know how to work the phone. How much money do you make? No, I'm a hundred thousand a year. That's too much. He had that one ready to go. Just <laughs> he did. <laughs> He's guarding an, an empty hotel that they're renovating. He didn't like your answer to that, though. Hello, thank you for calling uh, Perfect and then Sweets. Elijah speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Elijah. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, like, what's the best way we can cover up the door? I'm sorry. Say that again? We're trying to figure out what's the best way we can cover up the door. Like, from the outside? I'm gonna cover it up with like a like a curtain or a, a yeah bed sheet or I don't know. You, you've even got construction paper big enough. It doesn't really matter like how, but just a way to like conceal it. Oh, what door are you trying to cover up? The room, like for the room. Oh, um, give me a second. Let me ask my right, coworker you going? if she knows. Do you have bed sheets? I mean, we can just use bed sheets and some duct tape. Yeah, we don't have any duct tape, but. I got a duct tape. Do you have any bed sheets? How many bed sheets do you got? Yes, we do. How can I get some bed sheets? How many do you need? I don't know. Door sized. Is there a specific size I need? I don't know how this works. I just need a. I... No, you just however many you need. You just come down and grab them from the front desk. Right, let's go in that room. Like Say that little... again. I just go into that room. Like there's, there's that room over there, like, you know, down in the hall. You know, you just kind of open the door, 
he leaned into it a little bit, and then like you saw, I seen all the like the back the supplies and stuff, and there's sheet, there's stuff in there. I can just use those. Let me pass the phone to my coworker because I'm what? having a hard Why? time understanding what you're saying. You're not. So maybe you're she not can... saying words though. You're just you're just listening and breathing funny into the phone, and you're it's weird. I'm not doing anything to the phone. I'm trying to understand you. I can't like understand like, you. I'm having pushing, a hard time hearing and understanding you. Like you're pushing so let me air into it. To my coworker you're pu- you're and pushing see a lot of air into it. Well, you're just doing weird things with the phone. <laughs> uh oh, I'm on the wrong webpage. Hang on. There's a lot of air coming through that phone. I feel a tire of that phone. I can smell you. You're breathing so hard into the phone, I can smell you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could smell what you ate for lunch. Thank you for calling Fairfield Marriott Aurora. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Uh, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, um, would you mind not breathing so much? Um, I was uh, hoping that it wouldn't be a problem. Um, I'm doing good. My hotel, do- the door, I have a problem with the door on my room. Um, it's just, oh. it's really plain. Um, is it all right if I use like some popsicle sticks and yarn uh, to like jazz it up a little bit? What room are you in? Well, if I can put... That's what I'm saying. If I can put popsicle sticks and yarn on it, you'll know exactly. Because I'm going to do like a God's Eye, and I want to use those little... What are those little fluff balls? Uh, I have some of those. Uh, the little uh, the little colored... Uh, what do you call those? The little pom-poms. Um, as long as it doesn't damage the room, you're fine. No, it's hot glue. It'll come right off. Yeah, as long as nothing can peel off, anything like that. No, it'll peel right okay. off. The paint, everything, it'll peel right off. Okay. So it's fine if it peels the paint off, right? Yeah, as long as it doesn't peel anything off, anything like that, you're fine. No, it will. It will peel, it'll peel the paint right off. Then no. Then what? That's not fair. Then we'd have to not give you your incidental fee because of the damage. How much is that? Um, how many nights are you staying? I don't want to say. So it's twenty dollars oh, per day. Oh, that's fine. So I don't, whatever. No, I don't, yeah, I don't mind. That's fine. I'll pay twenty dollars to have my my uh my door decorated good. That's fine. Thank, okay. Thank you. Of course. You've been very helpful. Who wants to go? Who wants Welcome to, go? to In Town Suites. Press two for Spanish. Sappy Bakes, come up with some ideas. Hurry, hurry, hurry! In the chat. Come on. Yarn making yarn. Thank you for calling the Hilton Garden You are being transferred to the operator. Okay. Make like. Thank you for calling the Hyatt Place CIA. This oh. is Kendra. How may I help you? Oh, hi, Gender. I think this this one's gonna work out. What is? Oh, just all of this. But I, I'm knitting this yarn. I got this yarn, right? That's allowed uh-huh. in here, isn't it? Like knitting and stuff. Oh, as in there's somebody in the room? Yeah, yeah, knitting. Knitting What's this yarn. The number? Well, is it allowed? Because, I mean, like, this needle, you're not going to pat me down, right, with this needle? Uh, it, no. Well, it's not a drug needle or anything. Like, like it's nothing illegal. It's just a, like a yarn needle type thing. I just want to knit. knit. Knit different objects and stuff. Uh-huh. I mean, so. yeah, I, I can knit basically anything. I can knit a blanket, like a a sweater, socks. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put you on a brief hold. I'm wait, 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 no, 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 right no, 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 no. Why are you doing that? Um, because I'm assisting a guest right now. Well, I, I, I called I first. Think- I have priority. I have Q. Um, they were already here, sir. No, that doesn't count, though, because you answered the phone. They they got out of Q. That's how that works. Tell them, tell them to buzz off. Okay. Put me on with someone else. I hear other people. <laughs> There's other people in the background. Put me she on with bu- someone else. She buzzed off. <laughs> I'm sorry, Snappy. I I turned that into. I mean, I snuck the gun thing in there, but I don't know. <laughs> I can knit a gun. That's <laughs> bad. Eee! Oh yeah, is that allowed, Dragon Man? Uh, oh yeah. I'm gonna knit you I something that's flammable. Dragon Man. <laughs> Am, am I allowed to beat up like uh, teenagers? Is that allowed? Um, as long as they're not bigger than you, yeah. Like if they're picking on 
on someone or something. They're big bullies. I just beat them up. Thank you for calling the Quinta and the Sweet Tommy. I hope you. Hey, um, you got. Uh, I don't know if they're teenagers or they. As long as they're over eighteen, if they start bullying me or anything, I'm allowed to like defend myself, right? Hmm. Um, I don't. I don't. Young adults. The, there's some young adults staying here, um, and they're not very nice. Uh, if they keep, bull- I'm allowed to defend myself as long as they're over eighteen, right? Even if they are teenagers, I'm vis- I don't know the laws here. Oh, um, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Ohio. From where? Ohio. Oh, uh, I'm not sure to be honest. Well, okay, then what am I uh, supposed to do? What do you want me well, to do? They're harming you. Then it's key fine. their car. So, uh, no. Well, you're not giving me very many options. I mean, if you want me to key their car, I'll key their car. If you want me to... I, I, I'm not even 100% sure that they're over... I don't want to hit any uh, minors. I don't know, man. I'm not having any luck tonight. Just hide your car somewhere. Okay. Let me try again. Wait, okay. So we can hit teenagers, but no minors? Yeah. But we so. can hit babies. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Spring Hill Suites, front desk is key. Are you, how can I help you? Oh, um, I'm already checked in. Thank you. Um, do you have somewhere good that I could hide my car? Hide your what? Oh, I need to hide my car. I don't know how to... Uh, I, it's an open parking lot. Well, so do you I don't have, have a place to hide. Do you got like a sheet or anything I could put over it? Or, mm, and no. Then you don't I have don't like have an employee, like a back lot or a garage or anything? We don't have a garage. Okay. It's all an open parking lot. Well, no, I meant like an employee garage or an employee, like a special one or something for, for a special circumstance like this. Like I got, I, I don't want anyone to see my car. I wish I could help you in this scenario. I don't have an answer for that. I don't think you wish you could help me at all. I got half a okay, mind to hang up to the phone. Be- well, I got half a mind to hang up the phone, is the thing, because of the way you're treating me. And I don't think that you want no that. One's you. Okay. You know, you can hang up the phone if you want to. I'm not no. stopping you. No, I'm not going to now, because now that's what you want. Okay. Okay, then you can stay in the line as long as you wish, whichever okay. you want to do. Just help. Can you, can you, uh, um, can I get an extra bed? No, I cannot. Bed sheet? No, I do not. How about trash bags? If I cut a few trash bags open? Um, no, I do not. What? <laughs> you can stay on this line as long as you want. It just turned into a hang up the phone call, man. Hang it up. He called my bluff about hanging up. <laughs> Thank you for calling Extended Stay America. He wasn't having your shit. Well, if I can get anything to fucking connect. Who's going? Are you going to go, what? Snappy? I'll go. Wait, when's that meetup, Dragomir? Next month. It's coming up Oh, I'm, so, I'm not Dragomir. Where, where's where's it at? Tuesday? How can I help you? Hi, hello. I'm going to be... Well, thing is, I'm camped up up over here, and I got a bit of a case of yarn door, if you know what I mean. No. You know what yarn is? No. Yarn. It's like made of sheep's wool... Or uh, cotton. Oh, or, a jar. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, what is the mm. question? I've got a case of yarn door. Like my door, it's yarn. Uh-huh. There's yarn. So much yarn. I put so much yarn. I felt compelled to tie the yarn to feel safe, but now it's like the threads are all tangled and I can't really make sense out of them to to cut them loose for when the time should come to depart. Where are you calling? I'm calling the extent, the extent is the hotel, but it's just that my door has all the yarn on it now. So you are in house? Yes, I'm in the house. I'm a house guest. What is your room number? How, uh, oh, well, I can't open the door, and it's covered it because it's covered in the yarn. It's all tangled. What is your room number? I'm telling you I'm unable to see the, the room number because of the yarn on the door. I didn't write it down on my, well, it was written down on the little paper outside of my room key, but I went to the bathroom and I put my clothes in the toilet so it became soggy, so I can't see my room number. Okay, so now you have to find out because I can't help you right now. I just need you to be a little patient with me and like kind of be like we can be sister, sister and get through it together. (laughs) 
Oh no. She didn't, she didn't like Sister Sister. Yeah, I guess I guess not. What's going on, huh? Ryan, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, oh. oh. Calling the door in sweet for reservation. Unmuted. Is, is Mike's not working? Enjoy extra save a discounted member. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Are you going? Are you going? And members can Oh, wait, here I go. For- there you go. Who is this? A hotel. Guest service, this is Raven. How may I assist you? Hey, Devin. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm wondering, um, uh, just because of the security features in the hotel, I'm a little bit concerned with them. So I, I wanted to know if I could make like a, a like a web of yarn, like it, like in you the wanna doorway. Do what? Like uh, make it like you know how a stir crawls around and they. They creep, 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 down, down, down. And then they, they spin webs and, and it makes an impenetrable barrier to other forces. I want to do that in front Where? of my door, but just for just for why I stay. Okay. And you ask me who took that picture or? No, no pictures, no pictures. No, I want to make a yarn web, like a spider. Okay. Kind of like Spider-Man. Uh, but I don't have the stars. Me- I can only use yarn. Give me one second. Let me transfer you to my supervisor. Well, no, no, I, I, I don't want to talk to a supervisor. Best in class amenities with no resort fee. Plus, yeah. an outside arcade, resort style saltwater pool. With I don't think there's a supervisor. I Yarn web. Site restaurant. Book your stay today. Hey, Andrew. Oh, how can I help you? Hey, hi, Andrew. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing, sir? Pretty good. Um, I just had a small question about the security of the rooms. Yeah. And so, like, I, I know you guys have the locks and the steel bolts and, and you know, the, the dead bolt, you know, the thing goes in the door, goes boop, 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 back and forth, back and forth. You can twist it so much. But I just want to make, yeah. like, a, a little bit of a webbing outside my door, like, out of yarn. So that way, if anyone tries to, like, come in, because I'm not, I'm not expecting guests, but if they try to come in, then they won't be able to get through. Because if they, they put their hand in, into the yarn, it'll get all tangled up and try to twist the doorknob. It'll, the fingers will get kind of like one on top of the air, one to the left, one to the right. Yeah. And I'll I'll take it down when I leave. But I just want to okay, make sure you're um, not going to come over there with like any kind of like um like knives or something and and cut up like my work because it takes a long time to make these. Okay. Uh. What? And then what? What? Um. I'm sorry. Can you explain that to well, me one more ask, time? Uh, you're, uh, Okay, you know, you know how like um, usually when when there's a door and you can open it and you can just walk right through. Yeah. Well, I'm preventing that. I'm preventing that because I I have all the doors open inwards and and I'm gonna put on the outside. I'm gonna put a webbing that I make of yarn and I'm gonna attach it like to the frame of the door. And that way, if someone tries to walk up and you know they're like, oh, let's see what this guy's up to, and they put their hand on door up, they're gonna get all confused because when they try to twist it, their hands can get stuck it's not gonna in the door. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, we also yeah, have because of the resistance of, of the webbing. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, I don't we trust that either. Because I saw movies. I saw movies. Sometimes, like uh, someone opens it up a little bit, and they use a deadbolt. They kick open the door. No, that's They're not never, the deadbolt. Uh, the, 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 yeah, the safety the, the lock, lock that's never. Yeah, that's never uh, the bolt cutter. Here. We have a bolt cutter. Well, I, it's happened me one time. Or at least I saw it in a movie once, and that that was enough just to s- yeah. scare, scare the hell out of me. That probably you know? happened, but that's never happened at this hotel here. As long as you have that safety latch, also that well, silver know, thing that's going to be behind like, the door. No, it, they won't like, be able seen, to open you, the have, door. They won't. They won't be able to open the door. Have you ever seen the movie have that Country for Old Men? No, but hold on. Let me explain it. Well, because uh, so he was time. hiding in the hotel. He was hiding in the hotel. And then someone said, oh, I'm going to force my way in there. I'm going to force my way in there. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Here I come. And and then everyone – that was a bad outcome for everybody. So that's just yeah, what I'm trying to, our doors, to avoid. Our doors are locked out 24-7, and our front doors lock after 10 p.m., so there's not going to be anybody coming in and out of here as they want because we watch the – Well, but maybe they already checked that. in, maybe because they were looking at me earlier. They saw me going in, and they are like, hey, hey, well, that guy, he looks like got some stuff. And, and you know, they, they booked a room. Like very near me, so okay. I just want to make make the the yarn webbing. Put it outside okay, my door. Okay, you can make the yarn um, webbing as long as it doesn't fine. damage our. It doesn't say it doesn't damage our door, and um, when you check out, well, it's not going to like. It's not going to damage the door. It might. Not, I mean, I may have to put a few screws into the frame, though. I'm sorry. 
I'm gonna have to put some screws into the frame, you know, just with little power tools, like just to secure everything. Because, oh, you know, um, there's no point in the yeah. webbing if if it's just like taped up there or something. Then it can fall down real fast. Anyone could pull yeah, it down, even I, a toddler. I, Not that I think no, any toddlers no, are coming we can, up, but we, I don't know if I can allow you to pull uh, put power um, drills through our door. Power webbing. drills, I yes. Well, I don't think well, I mean, would, no, uh, it's, of that because it will actually oh, but I'll stuck them. I'll it stuck them up afterward. Okay, like it, it's, um, it'll just be superficial damage, I'm sure. Let me put you on hold for one second. Drilling? Let me go get my manager. No, okay. No, no, no. I want to talk to him. My manager? Hello. It's a she. Yeah. Are you? Oh, no, I want to talk to her either. Okay. Yeah. Are you in yeah. our hotel right now? Wait. Hold on. I think there's someone outside my door right now. Oh my god. Are you in our hotel right now? Uh, yes. What room are you in? Well, if I tell you that, though, you might come up here and, and, and try to prevent me from making my security web. No, it's not that. I mean, I this just is just for safety. Of, in, sir, this for is just for safety purposes. as a guest. Just for I just safety as a guest. Sure, I'm asking for your room number so I can make sure that nobody will come to your room and come into there. They're not gonna so I'm just going to keep a, my, we're gonna keep an eye on first. your room. To, they're not going to tell you, hey, hey, we're going to miss the room. And, uh, uh, hey, don't, don't interfere because we're going to try to mess with him or something. Or, like, try, like, you know, when he's sleeping, try to look at him for, like, two or three minutes at a time. Yes, sir. So you're not comfortable giving me your that, number. That way, if they, when they reach it. Excuse me, sir. Are you still there? Hello? Hello? Yeah, are you still there? Yeah, I'm I'm his brother here, guy. Okay, we're, we're gonna we're we're gonna put up this yarn, stop these intruders. Um, can you? What's your room number? I mean, we, we got a speaker system set up. If they trip off this yarn, Chinese is gonna start, you know, sounding out. Yeah, I understand that. Can I get we're, your we're room number? To conf- so I can we're, make- we're, we're trying to confuse them. I mean, we'll know if they come Safety in. Safety situation. Can I get your room yeah. number, sir? I put my brother back on. Hold on. Okay. All right. Hey, are you there? Yeah. Like, I don't I know why this is number, a big sir? deal. I well, I'm, I don't know because then you're going to come up and try to get through my yarn webbing, and that might damage it a little bit because I'm I know that since you work there, you have webbing. access to power tools, wanna... and you might even try to like no, you might try to cut it down or something. You probably even have scissors, very least. All right. I just want to ask for your room number so I can give like check on your room, make sure nobody's going to come into there. I'm not doing that to come up to your room. I just want to know what room you are in. Or what's your last name? Uh, who? What's your uh, What's your last name? Well, we're brothers, so we have the same last name. Okay, what's the first name? Huh? My first name. What is your first name? My first name. Yeah. Oh, wait, this is this is Fletcher guy. I'm sorry. Fletcher guy. Fletcher. Yeah. All right. Oh, that won't that won't show up on the computer. Are you typing stuff? Wait, wait, why are you typing stuff on the computer? Actually, are you writing a report I'm, right now? I'm not writing a report. Let me put well, you on hold for one second. I I just feel like you're Let trying me put to you get some trouble. I I feel like you're trying to yeah you're trying to get the authorities or something. There's only one place that you can get the best deal. Oh man, Brian, I liked your call. You just kept going into the wind. Yeah, your microphone was crapping out or your connection was crapping out. I know. I- Shit. Wait, who is he getting? But he, he said, "Can I manager. just put you on hold for a second? Oh no, so, we can't, we can't, we can't. Because I have to read. Yeah, the, yeah you have time to, you read to the play Patreons the music and, and do the yeah. Patreons. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. I want to say thank you to everyone who is supporting the show over at patreoncom slash I I really do appreciate you guys. I love you. <laughs> I think there was a new one last week that I didn't. Did I say anything about Phil Collins last week? I don't remember saying that. Um, you did not. You you so, always talk about Phil and Collins, right? But oh shit, they changed where your downloads go. There it is. Um, so thank you. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Oh wait, did someone change their name? I don't know how it, how it works. Someone changed their name to. I'm very confused. Maybe they increased their their pledge and changed their name to Phil Collins. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not crazy. I did lose it, though. I'm. I'm crazy. I'm fucking crazy. 
Um, so thank you to Stephen Dravis, Marce- Marceau, Terrible, the High Level Squirrel, Musical Muffin 68, Gremlin, P- Purple Moose, Jesus Penis, whoops, Mig Chungus, Brian N., Theory, Mac, Mallow Propaganda, Stinkly Frank, Spaceball One, I Found Dragon Mirror's Shoes Under My Bed, Ben N, N Ben Jammin, Peep Peep, I'm a Yeep, I wish someone would make a really funny Patreon name, come on dog, let us get on that already, you're slacking, Derek S, Adam P, Inwo, Louis T, Jar of Turkey Meats, Eric S, Ooh. Cat Number Wang, Zachary C, Jason B, I Touched an Eye Worm, Matt S, Vince, Mike Jones, Bread Sandwich, Rooster, Synthhead, Victor Kid, Easy Peasy, Cry Fox, I Regret Jumping, Toaster King, Six Week Tenure, MC Paperclip, You Bastard Fuck, Whoa There, The Reaper Diamond T, ESSL01, Cincinnati Drew, Otter Poppers, Jelly D, Good Mew, Uh Oh, Jason C, Wits Cracker, Ross R, Orphan Angry, B Horseman, Jerry Luxapol, Don Quixote, Hadn't Pented It, Richard B Jr., Daddy Long Lake 69, George W, Rubber Rage of Fist of Corpse, User Dribbly Bob, Carter Pillar, Phil Collins, there it is, Phil Collins, Cream, Slime Machine, Godrilla, Agent Trav, Team Kaka, Amorak, Milkbox, Louie M, Dwight McClanahan, Dean F, Insert Humor Here, Danny O, Miss Janine Joy, Sabotage HPB, Murray Murs, Holden MJ, I think there's a Gasly, Carthar, Sweetly Beef G Zone, GK, Jarrett R, BT Beats, Meat and Skeets, Concerned Mom of Three, Radical, White Lines, Brown Magic, Jesus, also, Amphi, Matt Chu, Andy Anderson, Dumbled William, Bitches R Us, Brandon R, Toxic Waste, Alexa Singh, Victor Kilo, Mix Backle, Napalm Bait, Beat, Napalm Beat, Ash, Parkman, Devin, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Kelvin, and Din, Dean Aladoodle, Brian G, Farmer Built 420, Major Tinnitus, Sning Poo, Sning Pop, 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 Pew, 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 Ping. Fun Losers of America, X, but Crispy, 808, Wasted Memory, and the Graveyard Guns. I love you. We are way past bedtime. Good night. Come to the meetup, September. Wait, having Elmhurst. a good time. Yeah, it already ended. Oh. Yeah, I know. Well, you got to sing it. Oh. We can't. We can't do it. No, I can't do it again. There, that's a good amount. There, I'll play a yeah, that's... Good night. Good night, everybody. I love you. <laughs>